Good evening, guys. Yay. <laughs> Kusta po kayo? Namimiss niya po ba yung FB Live? <laughs> Are you familiar with the song? <laughs> Please play anime songs. Yeah. Familiar po ba kayo? Kinalakihan po natin yan. Kumusta po? Kumusta kayo lahat ngayong gabi? Yeah. Good evening everyone. This is your coach Johnson Chua. And welcome again to our uh, one full learning night. Okay? Itong Feng Shui Friday po natin. Okay? And also kung nakita nyo nga po, nag-post po ako kanina na pag-uusapan po natin yun is more about like uh, FS Parenting or part of that FS Parenting. Okay? Maybe we cannot totally tackle the whole type, uh, topic, no? Pero at least I can give you some tips, okay, para to understand our children, especially mas lalo naman yung pandemic, at uh, lahat po tayo puro work from, uh, work from home, and yung mga bata naman po is study from home, no? So, at least much more easier, mas maintindihan natin sila, and kung ano rin ba yung mga pwede natin i-extract sa skills and potentials nila. Kasi dati iniwan lang natin yun sa school, trabaho ng mga teachers yun, Although tayo ngayon is uh, partly not only being parents but also being the teacher of our children, kailan din po natin makita yun. At, at pa, para matulungan natin sila at ma-extract po natin yung power na yun. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so check po natin ha uh, kung sino-sino po yung mga nakapasok ngayong gabi. Okay? So abangan niyo po ha. Mag medyo maganda po yung topic natin. Okay? At saka kung may mga questions kayo about your kids or something, uh, you can ask here. For those uh, not... Uh, hindi naman ibig sabihin pag sinamang Feng Shui Parenting is totally for kids lang talaga totally. Uh, this is also the same that you can also use para to understand din also pati other people. Like example, uh, halimbawa, um, kasi um, kung mag like example, mga staff natin, mga ganun, or colleagues natin, uh, partly you can also use the same system para to understand people. Okay, kasi FS Parenting is not only for kids. no uh, FS Parenting also for building up Uh, potential of a person. Okay? Kaya mamayang tuturo ako sa inyo four easiest way. Okay? Four easy way. Okay? Uh, this will be my terminology para mas mabilis yung po makets yung tao. Malalagay nyo siya sa ang category then much more easier to understand that person. Okay? And uh, pasalamat po tayo sa aming uh, GYF family because when I'm asking them what is the best topic that you want na uh, itakil po natin for this uh, Feng Shui Friday, okay, and my GYF family is uh, recommending na uh, let's talk about kids. Okay, let's talk about the mga children daw. Okay, so I think kasi because of marami rin po sa GYF uh, member po namin, mga family person and also their children, para for us to uh, much more easier to understand them. Okay? Kasi pag hindi natin sila naiintindihan, okay, it adds the negative energy in our body, okay, in our mind. Di ba marami sa atin medyo, I, I mean po natin, I mean po natin mga parents, so marami po sa atin lately medyo naging uh, stressful mentally, emotionally, not because of just sa work or dito sa pandemic, sa social distancing, but even with our kids, okay? Although, ang saan magaling yung mental stress and emotional stress? We spend more time with them. Dapat nga, much more blessing yun. Pero the problem is, um, nauubos yung time natin, maybe. Okay, maybe some parents are uh, experiencing like that. Ako, paprangkain ko, I'm gonna tell my own experience. Um, mas iba talaga yung pag naka-work from home tsaka work from office. Kasi pag nasa office ako, ang um, problem ko lang is most likely nasa office lang. Okay? Pero pag nandiyan ko sa home, uh, anytime I need to attend to my children, plus my work, plus may ganito. Kaya <laughs> kung napapansin niyo nga po, minsan po biglang kinakapos ako sa oras, minsan biglang uh, wala akong FB life. It's because of minsan may mga ilang mga incidents that I need to uh, att uh, attend to. No? So also the same with mga other uh, parents here. Okay? And also, 
uh, yun yung mga part ni some of the challenge no pero and na uh, pero tapos minsan syempre it develops uh, negative emotions sa galit tayo minsan sa children natin kasi makulit sila mga ganyan so yun yung mga ilang things that we need to understand bakit nga ba sila makulit ano ba yung kulit nila saan ba nang galing yun maybe because they're very curious ba sila maybe nakikialam ba sila it's because of yun nga medyo alam mo may pagka explorer explorer pala sila yun so these are some things that we we can easily see or understand to a person's birthday Okay, so may po tuturo ko sa inyo for, for easiest way just to detect what kind of a child you have at anong klase yung strength and weaknesses niya para much more easier natin siya maas ma-understand. Okay, this is a very, ano, very introductory and also very uh, easy to understand, easy to cope with, and easy to apply. Although, I cannot teach you the advanced technique kasi it's, uh, it will take a lot of time, okay, tsaka talagang years of learning, okay, that's why uh, some of you is nagpapa life reading with me kasi dun sa life reading, much much more kompleto po siya, okay, much more mapapag-usapan natin lahat yung four pillar, yung puzzle reading, lahat doon mapapag-usapan. Pero yung nga lang po, yung may tuturo ko sa inyo, it's very simple lang, based on the month lang, based on the birth month, okay? And don't worry, it's not, we're talking about feng shui here, we're talking about eastern uh, feng shui, we're not talking about like western, like Sagittarius ba siya, or what, wala, wala, wala tayong ganun. We will talk about what kind of a child, uh, anong klaseng, ano siya, uh, kung baga ba, anong klaseng child category siya, okay? So yung mga pag-uusapan natin tonight. So, Uh, batiin mo natin lahat ng mga nakapasok na. So, hello, Sandra C. Hello, good evening, and uh, happy Halloween. <laughs> o nga, malapit na. Next week na, no? Next week na yata yung happy Halloween, no? Yeah, DMC, hi, uh, Holmes, Debbie Garcia. Hello, good evening. And then, uh, Lourdes, Canon. Hello, good evening po. Yeah, Sandra C. Yan. Uh, alam niyo po ba, Sandra C., nahulaan mo ba yung kukunin yung anime song? Kinalakihan natin yan. Okay. Um, Sharon Garcia. Yeah, good evening. Uh, che... Che Laureles uh, Eranista Canizares. Hello coach, birthday ko tomorrow. Ah, happy birthday to Che. Okay, happy birthday po sa inyo. Okay, <laughs> bukas sa po yung birthday niya. Okay, more blessing and more prosperity to come to you. Ah. Always stay safe and stay healthy. Ah. <laughs> Anali, hello, good evening po. Uh, Rosemary, hello po, good evening. Yan, and then uh, Young KYB, yan, good evening po. Yeah, very fine coach. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Kristen Calix, hello po, good evening. And then, uh, hindi marinig, okay? So, is it okay? Marinig pa po ba? Or hindi? Oh, kung sabihin niyo po ako, medyo hindi po malinaw yung sounds, no? Yeah, okay? So, DMCI, yeah. Kristen Calix, hello po, good evening po ulit. Yan, Sekat Kate, hello. Mulan Song, ah, hindi po. <laughs> hindi po siya Mulan. Okay, Mulan is, uh, ano, I think, reflection yung pinaka sikat no sa mulan yeah but this is an anime song okay ate fey hello po greening yeah vitas gel hello po greening po sikat kit mayet uh, arnoko hello po yan yeah. uh, joseph hello hi po sir johnson si joseph po ito ng century park hotel hello po <laughs> greening po joseph yeah oh, nakamiss na rin kayo <laughs> tita ison hello greening po alma Uh, uh, sa Pinoso, hello, good evening at saka sa lahat po ng GYF family yan, uh, binabati po kayo ni Ate Alma, Evelyn Wong Andre uh, Montero hello po Grace uh, Manabat, hello, good evening uh, Gustav Alfonso Florence Tupaz okay, uy, marami namin tayo ngayong gabi <laughs> Francis Lopez, you can also invite your friends, okay, para kung meron kayong naisip kung sino man yung mga parents na medyo party having a Not totally a big problem naman, pero who wants, uh, alam mo, very, ano sila, very uh, open sila with parenting. Okay, kasi originally, I think uh, I'm I'm one of the uh, uh, feng, shui, ma, uh, feng shui consultants, okay, or practitioner, that uh, who's very open in terms of uh, parenting, no? Kasi, syempre, I'm a, I'm a parent, okay? Medyo mahirap din kasi mag-ask sa mga ibang feng shui masters na uh, singles or wala pang wala pang family kasi their experience is not broad enough, no? Kaya party, yun yung mga ilang things. Kaya nga, alam niyo po ba sometimes when we're asking a person, um, by profession, okay, not only by profession but also by background. Example, kunyari, doctor, okay? Alam natin yung doctor, ipinag-aralan niya lahat, okay? Lahat ng organs, pinag-aralan niya lahat ng uh, body system, biology, everything. So in short, alam ng doctor lahat yan. 
kahit sinong doktor tanungin mo, alam niya na lahat ng klase ng sakit, maybe. Alam niya lahat ng klase ng mga organs or anything, maybe. Pero bakit sila may tinatawag na expertise, di ba? Kasi yung expertise niyan is based on what they do. Okay? At saka maraming mga um, doktor, yun yung nasa ano nila eh. Yung parang uh, critical road nila na choosing of their expertise. Tsaka pansin niyo po, madalas sa mga expertise na pinipili nila, may kinalaman niyang sa history din ng experience nila. Example, I have one client, uh, he, he is a doctor in gastro. Kasi nung time nung sa family niya, may mga naging problem sa mga gastro. Yung mga parents niya, or maybe lolo-lolo niya. So, in that part, kaya nag, nung nag-doctor siya, mas more pinili niya yun kasi mas more gusto niya maging expertise yun. Okay? Kasi kaya may mga minsan, yung mga history of experience, nilalagay nila sa expertise nila. Okay? And for me, kasi I love kids very much. Okay? So, kaya in a way, um, naging isa yun sa part ng expertise ko rin. Okay? In terms of understanding children. Okay? Tapos, how we can extract their potential using feng shui. And also, nai-apply natin yun paakyat, papunta sa mga pag-understand ng mga tao. Na which is kung titignan nyo po sa isang company, sino ba yung mga children's? ba? Diba? So, ito yung mga employees or staff, right? So, sino yung parent? Maybe the boss, right? Pero si boss, paano niya maintindihan yung mga parent, yung mga kids niya? Kaya gumawa siya ng department, which is ang tawag natin doon, HR department. Because HR department is the one who is uh, partly, I can say, na responsible in understanding their, their employees, okay, kung saan sila mag-fit ng kanilang mga work. Kaya nga sila gagawa ng interview, fit nila kung uh, bagay ba siya sa ganun trabaho o hindi. Okay, so in short, sila yung parang, uh, in a way, sila yung immediate parent. Okay, so para to understand their children, parang ganun. Okay, so kaya ako tutusin yung FS Parenting ko dati, um, kinarate ko siya sa itiatawag namin corporate reading. Okay, I offer that kind of service. May mga client din ako dyan na parang when they uh, started their business, they do corporate reading with me binabato nila sa akin lahat ng mga uh, list of employees nila. Key people lang naman. Hindi naman kailangan lahat talaga totally. The key people. Then we try to read every key people para alam natin kung they fit on the certain position and kamusta yung magiging productivity nila on that part. And how is the relationship to the sa pinaka-mother boss. Okay? Parang ganun siya. So that's how we do it. Also, even though when I go to Uh, like some of mga kilalang company like sila, example like mga priority, mga ganyang klase. So when I talk to them, I also most likely uh, mga executives, yung mga ganyang klase, yun, chinecheck namin lahat yung mga birthdays nila para kung kumusta yung uh, strength nila, yung function ng mga office nila para once na okay sila, yung hinahandle nilang tao, mas okay din. Okay? Kaya ito yung mga ilang way of you can also apply if ever. So, I'm gonna teach you a very important tips, okay, that you can easily apply. Okay? Ututusin, kakaturo ko lang po nito ka last uh, week, no? Last week with the, uh, ay, sorry, tamang ba last week? Yes, last week, Saturday. Yeah, kasi kakatapos lang po ng aking uh, session with uh, Lexus. Yeah, so they invite me para to become their guest speaker and talk about din sa um, how to maximize your potential energy sa panahon ng pandemya. Okay, so I give you, I give them some of like mga ganun tips. Then, isa yun sa mga shinare ko. At saka, medyo marami nagkagusto nun kasi kung tutuusin, kung mapapansin nyo po, as I say nga, kung naalala nyo po yung uh, three strategy na tinuro ko po last time sa panahon ng pandemic is um, the expanding your market, okay, if you remember that, if your business is okay, uh, previously, yung lumang business nyo, okay, is maganda naman, okay, at yung product, okay pa rin siya. Although, medyo tinamaan ka lang because of this pandemic crisis, the social distancing, mga ganun. So, you just need to expand your target market, okay? So, very easy, kasi mas mabilis yung flexibility, uh, mas mabilis yung adaptability, mas mabilis mo rin din siyang ayusin because same foundation, same core, okay? Magdadagdag ka lang ng mga leeways kung paano mo siya mas expand. Okay? Kung naalala nyo po yun, that's the first strategy that I teach. Then, the second strategy that I teach is the um, innovation, okay? Meaning, your product still good, but the problem is um, the market is not that uh, hot on uh, is not, uh, hindi na tumaas yung demand Okay, maybe it's because of um, gusto nila yung product mo pero hindi siya ganun ka super important for now. Maybe you need, uh, you need to make some innovations on that part. Okay, like example, uh, one good um, example for that is the crab. 
Okay? Si grad number one, kung dati, naisip natin, ano yung pinakalakas niya? is because of nilabanan ni grad ang taxi problem, right? Okay, so alam natin, transportation, yun ang pinaka naging power ni grad, if, if ever, kung pag-aaralan natin siya. Pero in reality, pag titignan mo, ang power niya, it's not the transport itself. Okay? Ang pinaka power niya is on the app itself. Okay? Pag titignan niya lang po, okay, bakit po? Okay, nung panahon na wala pa pong pandemic, sobrang gamit na gamit natin si Grab. So, tuwan-tuwa tayo sa service ni Grab, kahit pa paano, right? Okay, pero ang tanong, ito ba mga Grab drivers is hawak ba talaga ni Grab? The answer is no, right? They use the system of Grab para to get clients and then also to get paid or to get a much more easier road or something mga ganun. So, in short, they're using the system. But they don't go to Grab para to train how to drive, right? They don't go to Grab para to check of what kind of car they need to buy, right? So, in short, hindi transportation talaga ang power ni Grab. It's on the, it's the system itself. Kaya nung tayo naging pandemic, nagkaroon tayo ng social distancing, partly namatay po ang transportation ng Grab. Pero because the system is very strong, gumawa siya ng innovation. So why not we deliver package to you? Why not uh, we deliver uh, food to you? Why not we deliver even your grocery to you? So in short, lalo lumakas yung sa site na yun. Okay? So in short, yung transportation na medyo mina, pero still, the logistic transportation of the certain products, pinalakas niya. So that's a form of innovation. Okay? Hindi niya binago yung product niya. Product of delivery. Okay? Even the car, di ba? I deliver you from one place to another. Ngayon, I will deliver your package from one place to another. So that's same product, but uh, same service and product, but uh, different, in, uh, medyo may pagka-innovation lang siyang ginawa. Okay? I, th- I think other other um, businesses also doing like that. No, So yun yung example na hindi nila binago yung negosyo, but still, they change some of that system. And then the third strategy, if you remember, the reset button. Ito yung pinaka medyo mahirap, right? Kasi ito yung medyo masaklap, masakit. Unfortunately for some businesses who are suffering for this pandemic, okay? Kasi hindi sila naging need. Example, like the garment side, right? Kasi um, if we will see here, uh, mas lalo na if your main clients are students, okay? And then uh, because lahat tayo puro study from home, okay? Uh, hindi na po kailang bumili ng uniform. And then uh, also the same with the mga corporate, di ba? Kasi kumunti na po yung pupasok sa corporate. So kumunti na rin yung mga nagpapagawa ngayon ng mga corporate dresses, okay? Or uniforms. So that's also one thing, no? And even though mga gumagawa po for party, di ba? Yung mga gowns or something. And because of no celebration for now, because of pandemic, they're also widely affected. Kaya party, kung isa ka sa mga business na medyo nandun sa major suffering, okay? then you need to reset button, meaning is going back to scratch again and starting a new business or different business because you're trying to create a new opportunity or finding new opportunity. So in short, uh, kung sabi natin dito sa business na ito is uh, kilala ka na, maybe tumanda ka na dyan, right? Pero when you're starting a new business, bumabalik sa pagkabata. So bakit importante yung feng shui parenting? Because if you understand what kind of a potential you have, okay, one good thing is you have the experience of the process. Pero yung nga lang, you need to go back na parang pagabata ulit kasi you need to study everything again in a new business naman. Diba? So, kung baga ba, ano ba yan? Kunyari, from garments, bigla ka na punta sa food. Siyempre, pag-aaralan niya ulit yung weighing ng food, measurement ng food, paano ba yung target market dyan. Maybe one good thing is you know already is how to process DTI, how to process BIR, diba? yung mga legality. At least may alam ka na how. Yun yung one good thing. Hindi ka talaga totally nag-start from scratch. Pero ang reset button mo is you need to understand everything again. Like understanding the target market, understanding yourself. That's why, sabi ko nga, in this pandemic, if you want to start a business, passion is very important. Kasi if you don't have the passion, experience, you have experience. Okay? But the passion, kapag wala ka ng passion, it's very hard para for you to uh, start again. Okay? Mas lalo na if you're in the DLV mode. Okay? Uh, DLV is uh, defining your lower value. Yung parang frustrated ka, napabanas ka, wala ka nang ginawa, kundi sisihin lang na sisihin na itong uh, nangyayari sa pandemic na ito. <laughs> diba? So, pag ganun lang po yung mangyayari, then uh, progress is very slow. Okay? Kaya ito nga po yung isa sa binigay ko sa kanila. It's more, more about understanding. And syempre, we're talking about Lexus here. So, uh, syempre, mga client naman niya is, uh, kasi 
we know it's a part of a luxury car already so most of the mga viewers and clients are partly on the higher level okay Kaya, pero still some of them is asking about the rest of Proton so alam na natin na oh shucks medyo tinamaan din sila sa mga ganong bagay so aminin natin some of us is also experienced that okay pero yun lang po isa sa sasabihin ko if you're following me every time when I do FB live okay if you're following me don't give hope okay don't give up your hope okay practice DHV lagi yung may paraan lagi yung merong style ang tanong lang dyan is what is your choice okay sabi nga eh doon sa isang uh, basa ko po okay a life is always have a choice the problem is the first question na ibabato sa inang universe is gusto mo ba ng choice o ang sagot mo kagad is no choice <laughs> so that's the first choice that you give given to you uh, my choice or no choice okay kapag sinagot mo agad no choice then that end your chapter already okay pero pag sinabi mo my choice then it will give you harder smoother Okay, pag sinabi mo harder, uh, expensive or less expensive. Nagpansin nyo, everything will be come out with different kinds of opportunity from our choices. Pero yun nga lang, dapat ang tanong dun is are we moving on or we just stop? Kapag sinagot nyo no choice, then we stop already. Like yung some of us, okay, mas lalo na starting a new business, sasabihin ka agad natin, eh wala akong pera eh. Then that's a no choice, right? Pag sinabi mo kasi wala akong pera, you get no choice na. Hindi naman minsan na ikaw ka lang maglabas ng pera. If you know how to use people, okay, if you know how to uh, uh, parang grab network and resources, maybe you have the greatest idea but you don't have the money. And there are some people who have the best, uh, who have a lot of money but no idea. <laughs> right? Okay, so nag-aantay sila kung sino ba dyan yung mga mayroon magagandang idea and they want to invest. Di ba? So you can work together. So it's not about the money problem. It's about the business idea. Kaya nga sabi natin, we are not finding opportunity lang. We are trying to create opportunity. That is why yung campaign natin for this pandemic time is, in times of darkness, be the light. Okay? Don't find the light. Be the light. Okay? So I hope everyone likes that. No? Uh, can you still see me? Sorry, ah, kasi medyo nawala po yung aking... Uh, aking video here. So I hope uh, everyone's still seeing me. <laughs> okay? Uh, let me know kung nakikita niyo po ba ba ako. Hindi ko po alam bakit nagkakaroon po ng aking problem. <laughs> right. Uh, um, sorry, problem in the... Yeah. Okay. So, pakisagot lang po ako kung nakikita niyo po ako. Kasi kung hindi po, I need to reset again the video if ever lang. Okay? Pero sana wag sayang yung mga shiner ko. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, habang wala pa po, batiin lang po natin yung iba pa. Okay. So, Evelyn Wong, Andrea Montero, Grace Manabat, hello, good evening, Gustavo Alfonso, Florence, Maris Garcia, hello po, good evening po ulit, Ate Maris, tsaka oh, kay Kuya Ace, Francis Lopez, uh, birthday ko next month, coach. Ano bang birthday rituals mo? <laughs> birthday rituals talaga. Francis Lopez, urging it for me. Uh, we don't need to wait for the birthday. Every day is our birthday. Huh? Every day is we need to practice DHV. Okay? That is why I do sa amin sa group po namin sa GYF member. Uh, every day we need to, kahit pa paano, just greet the word good morning. Okay? So, ano yung birthday mo every day? Okay? It's meaning is your birth with a new energy. Okay? Yun po yung importante. Okay? Pero the best nito pag birthday niya po is do some charity. Magpasaya lang po kayo ng tao. You know, when you talk about charity, it's not always about money. Okay? Sometimes you can give laughter, you can give smile, you can uplift certain people. Okay? So that's good. Because tandaan niyo po, if it's our birthday, Anong ginagawa ng mga tao na kaalala sa atin? They greet us, right? Nung time na ginigreet nila tayo, nagpo-provide sila ng energy sa atin. Then, very thankful tayo kasi may nakakaalala ng birthday natin. Kaya tayo bilang birthday participants, what is the best ritual is we need also to give that away to doon sa mga people na mga ibang tao na gusto rin natin mapa-uplift din yung energy nila. Okay? Kaya minsan pag ganun po, um, yes, number one, if you do donations, maybe you can go and give charity to your, maybe your favorite uh, church or maybe uh, meron kang foundation or donation, mga ganun klase. Kung wala, don't worry, don't force yourself. Tandaan niyo po yan, okay? Forcing yourself is um, is a form of like a parang uh, hindi po siya maganda, okay? I share one good story about you, okay? Meron siyang tinatawag na true good tsaka false good, okay? Tandaan niyo po ito, ah. True good and false good. 
okay when you talk about true good when you help people okay when you give kindness okay at wala ka naman talaga totally inisip na kapalit naturally you're just doing it okay then that's called true good okay pero false good is like yung parang when you're giving something kasi alam mong meron ka mas mumukuha mas malaki mga ganong klase no ah uh, or ginagamit mo yung taong yun. O diba, bigay nga ako ng bigay sa'yo, kaya dapat ikaw magpapautos ka sa'kin sa yung mga ganong klase. No? Uh, for me, this called false good. Okay? Kaya nga, meron akong sinabi na last time sa so some of my clients is, uh, we are born in this world, we are not obliged para to help people. Okay? I think, I think, okay, this is my own perception. Maybe, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. Pero this is how I see it in this uh, universe. No? Nung tayo na pinanganak tayo sa mundong nito, hindi natin obligasyon tumulong di tayo binigyan ng isang obligasyon para tumulong, kung hindi binigyan tayo ng isang obligasyon para hindi mang-harm ng tao. Okay? Yun lang po yun. Not only tao, pati may the animals or something. So in short, the karmic effect is something to do it don't harm others. Okay? So yun ang isang example na importante. Kaya mas okay na yung wala kang tinulungan, okay, kaysa sa tumutulong ka pero meron tayong kapalit na inaabangan. Okay? Uh, pero may ibang sabi naman ng ibang case uh, papano kunyari gusto ko uh, para mas mo marami akong matulungan nangingi ako ng kapalit sa taas yun pwede yun <laughs> okay I, le- uh, I read one article it's medyo sobrang eye opener siya may point yun okay when you're helping people okay hingi ka ng kapalit wag dun sa mga taong tinulungan mo humingi ka ng kapalit dun sa taas okay bakit? kasi yung taas yung nakakakita nun sa atin Okay, example, tumulong ka. Binigyan kita ng 1,000, tumulong ka ng 10 tao. Hmm. E di kung binigyan ka ng 1,000, e di ibig sabihin, sandaan na tao matutulungan mo. O di sige, bibigyan ka ng 1,000. Napapansin nyo, the universe is seeing us, the heaven is seeing us. Okay? God knows what we do. Diba? So, ganun siya. Kaya nga mapansin nyo po, yung mga some of the tycoons, the rich people, they do foundations, they do uh, charity. Okay? By blessingly, they earn more. Their business also growing. Why? Because the heaven support them. Kasi alam niya na mas marami pang taong pwede matulungan. Okay? Pero hindi natin obligasyon na talaga sabi mo na o pag may humingi ng tulong, alam, bigyan lang tayo ng bigay. No, no, no. Tandaan niyo po, we always need to take care of ourselves first. Okay? Yun ang importante. O, 10 o'clock na. Mukhang kailangan natin simulan yung topic ko. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Rochelle RV, hello po. Hi, Coach. Nice watching you again. At may matututunan kami ulit sa iyo. Thank you, thank you, Rochelle. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Evelyn Javier, thank you for your uh, ano suggestion. <laughs> Tama ba si, uh, di ba si Evelyn Javier po yung uh, isa sa nagsuggest sa amin sa GYF uh, family? Okay, about dun sa pag-uusapan natin about sa topic ngayong gabi. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, okay. Oops, wala, miss na lang naman ako. Yeah, okay. Then, ala, saan na ba yung aking, yeah. Nakikita niyo pa naman yung video, no? Okay, so, Farah Pahe, hello, good evening, Algen, sila po. Yan, si Jen, <laughs> Mayet Arnoco, uh-huh. Martin Reyes, hello, kumusta? Yeah, baka by next month, babalik na ako sa store. Uh, next month, kailangan ko na um, lumabas. <laughs> Nababagot na yun. No? Hindi, kailangan na rin naman. Kasi I need to prepare for uh, next year's uh, preparations para sa mga Chinese New Year, para sa mga, ay, para sa mga updates na mga charms natin in February. So, uh, I need to go to the shop and also make a system para at least alam ko po paano ko po i-go for it. Kasi, alam ngayon po is because we're practicing social distancing, mga ganun, and uh, hindi na po magiging katulad ng dati na pwede na po kayong lahat pumunta sa store at just pumila lang kasi it will be a very challenging so baka kailangan may scheduling talaga, ganun po. So we need to talk about it. Uh, pag-uusapan po namin kung paano namin aayos in fever. And I hope sana lahat po mas makater po namin na maayos. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry. Yan. And then, uh, Ina Alfonso, hello, good evening. And also, pagbabati rin sa lahat ng mga GYF family. Yan. Okay, na yes, nakikita pa rin daw, sabi ni Auntie Faye. Thank you, thank you. VIA, uh, Ana Morillo, Malo Torres, hello, good evening. Okay, yan. Kita pa naman po. Thank you, thank you. Oh, kasi, <laughs> video ko rito na wala. Sa so, I hope, buti yung video niyo meron. I think, nagko-conflict yung uh, microphone at yung aking head- headset. Yeah, I, need, I think I need to change the headset again kasi hindi umaayos yung itong microphone na to eh. Okay, Blast Owen, hello, good evening. 
and Max, uh, yan. Uh, yes, okay, you can drop by to the store, no problem, okay? Sa mga nag-drop by po sa store, kahit wala po ako doon, don't worry po, tatawag po yung mga tao ko sa akin and still we can talk, okay? Para at least kung paano po namin kayo gagabayan at ano po yung mga charms that you can also have if ever, kung may mga doon po yung question, okay? Yeah, so thank you, thank you everyone. Then, uh, pag-usapan lang po natin quickly, okay, so about sa topic natin for tonight, it's called Feng Shui Parenting. Okay, maybe it's not 101 pa kasi uh, marami pa po yung mga basic of what are the things that we need to know. Pero ngayon po, one basic thing, okay, ang pag-uusapan lang po natin is we're gonna talk about the what kind uh, or what in what category, okay, your child is to be group with, okay? When we talk about group, is we talk about the season, okay? Alam po natin lahat na meron tayong tinatawag ng four season. Meron tayong water, uh, winter, okay? Summer, autumn, tsaka spring, okay? We have four season, okay? Uh, GYF, ha? <laughs> Take notes, ha? <laughs> okay, so we have four seasons, okay? So, these are the things na uh, pag sinabi mo yung four season na yan, medyo malaki ang understanding agad natin na kung, nasa, kung nahulog ka sa, sa isang kategory ng season, automatically, meron ka mga general uh, characteristic, okay, na pwede kang makuha on that part, okay? Although, if we will talk about more deeper, not only season, we will talk about every month, every day, and every hour as in combinations. Although, um, I think sa live, well, I cannot do it kasi masyado na pong broad yung understanding, so baka maging conflict na po at marami na pong debate ang pwede mangyari. That's why I'm only offering it para sa mga life reading. Sa, sa inyo po sa mga nagpa-bazi life reading, mga nagpa-profiling, yan, yun po yung ginagawa natin. No? Uh, we try to understand every each of a certain element and uh, certain uh, variable po na nakikita natin sa birthday nyo. But now, uh, what I'm gonna teach is very easy, okay, pero kahit na very easy siya, sobrang useful niya. Okay? Then, and then, in this part, okay, it's much more easier to understand people. Okay? Especially our children. Especially our, uh, especially our children. Okay, so let's talk about it. Okay, so alam naman natin there are four season: winter, summer, autumn, spring. No, so ngayon alamin lang natin kung saan kategory ka ba na hulu. Okay, saan ka ba kategory na group? Okay, are you a winter child? Are you a summer child? Are you an autumn child or are you a spring child? Okay, so titig nako natin. And kung nagpunta ka dun sa isang kategory niya. What are part of your strength? Ano ba mga strengths mo? At ano ba yung mga ways na kailangan mo palakasin, if ever? Okay? So, yun yung titignan natin. Kaya yung mga kids natin, yun yung titignan natin sa ngayon. Kasi we're gonna talk about children, right? Okay. What are the common nagiging problem ba natin sa mga children? Some other children sabi na, eh, matakaw, matikas ulo, makulit, okay, hindi nakikinig, uh, medyo may pagka, ano ba tawag doon, tantrum ba yun, yung parang pagka hindi niya nakuha yung gusto niya, uh, nidadabog or dadapa sa sahig, yung mga ganong klase, or uh, minsan may iba naman, mahina yung uh, cock up, okay, sa study, okay, pero magaling naman silang sumayaw, okay, kumanta, okay, may iba naman is uh, sobrang galing sa study, okay, pero kung sumayaw parang robot, <laughs> di ba, parang may mga ganun, so, um, some other is, that we talk about like, there are some what you call the motor skills, di ba, may mga ganun yan, yung motor skills, mga kinik, yung actions, uh, meron iba, mental, analytical, may mga ganun, uh, may iba naman, super emotional, so, these are the things that we, we want also to understand, Okay? Kasi pag gano'n po natin na-understand ng isang tao, much more easier natin sila makontrol in short. Okay? So, yun ang isang case. So, what is the part of the, what is the most essence para sa feng shui parenting? Why we want to learn all of this? Okay? Number one, uh, for all the parents, uh, uh, bear with me, bear with me. I know some of you maybe ko kontra kayo dito, pero bear with me and let me finish the whole topic. No? Um, kahit ako nung una kontra din ako, pero at the end of the point, uh, when I try to understand everything, no choice, but I need to do this. Okay? <laughs> ano ibig sabihin nun? Okay. Um, when we talk about uh, adjustment, okay, uh, madalas ang sinasabi natin, okay, uh, gusto natin yung mga anak natin ang nag adjust para sa atin. Okay? Kasi alam natin yung tama at mali. Alam natin. Okay? Alam natin what is right, what is wrong for them. Alam natin na ano yung makakasama sa kanila at ano yung makakabuti sa kanila. Tama po ba? Okay? Kaya gusto natin mag-adjust yung bata sa kagustuhan natin. Basic yan, basic yan. Mas lalo lang sino mga 80s dito, 70s, 80s naranasan natin yan sa parents natin. Kasi, pinalaki tayong ganun. <laughs> ba? Pag hindi tayo sumunod, ayun, um, 
dalawa lang naman yung choice natin. Okay? Papili tayo sa kamay o sa stick. <laughs> or kung luluhod naman tayo, pipili lang tayo sa asin tsaka sa munggo. <laughs> Di ba? So, in short, <laughs> kumbaga ba yung ating mga parents, very strict, right? <laughs> mga 70s, 80s, ha? Especially, right? Okay. And part ni sa ito mga 70s, 80s, tayo rin yung may mga part ni challenging because um, we are in the crossroads. Okay? Our parents na naging super strict, but tayo ngayon, naging parents tayo ng mga millennials. Napansin niyo po? Okay? Ang mga parents is very strict, pero tayo naman, naging parents tayo ng millennials. So parang, hindi natin ma-apply lahat kagad yung tradition, di ba? Kasi the millennials na kids, hindi naman sila pwede ganun kagad traditionally. Tama? Okay? Kasi ibang-iba na yung mundo. Mas lalo na, kung biglang pumasok ang computer world, uh, tayo pa nagtatanong sa mga anak natin. <laughs> di ba? Pero nung panahon natin, okay, kung anong gusto ng parents, wala tayong magawa kung disundin lang sila. In short. So, in part, I think, uh, I think this is the 70s, 80s main problem. Okay? Sila yung mga nasa, uh, I think itong feng shui parenting na ito, ito yung pinaka sa kanila, yung pinaka malaki yung impact in a way, no? The mga people 70s and 80s in part B. Kasi um, yung nga yung challenging about understanding, okay? So kapag titignan natin yun, <laughs> okay, masyado bang may hugot ba? <laughs> 80s po ako, 80s. Okay, so yung mga ganong klase. So uh, yun yung, kumaga ba, yun yung gusto natin alamin or i-understand at para alam natin pa paano natin i-adjust or babaguhin, okay, in a way. So, at least kung nalaman natin na ano yung strength natin personally, alam niyo po, tayo rin mismo, meron tayong mga spring child, autumn child, okay, tayo rin mismo eh, okay, then alam din natin sa anak natin, okay, pero ito yung tinuturo ko, hindi po yung mga anak yung mag-a-adjust, tayo po yung mag-a-adjust for them. I think that's the most best for the parenting. And may mga iba, yun nga, sabi ko, may mga iba baka kumontra po dito. Don't worry, don't worry. I I I understand, okay? Uh, I understand your side, okay? Pero try to hear me first and then let's uh, end the article. Then that's the time. Kung may mga questions kayo, yes, you can post. Kung may conflict kayo, kung may kontra kayo, don't worry. Post it here, okay? Para mapapag-usapan natin maayos. Hindi lang po kayo natututo sa akin, kundi ako rin po yung natututo rin po sa inyo. Okay? Okay, so kung titignan po natin, bakit ko binanggit na dapat tayo mag a sa mga kids? Okay, kasi number one, ang mga bata, pinanganak sila sa mundong ito. Uh, like example, if you have a kid like 10 year old, okay, 10 year old, maybe you are in the late 30s in a way, or maybe 40 year old, right? Okay, pag-usapan lang natin, or kahit sabihin natin 35 year old ka na lang, then 10 year old yung children mo, okay? Now, yung 10 year old na bata, ilang years na ba yung experience siya sa mundong ito? 10. <laughs> right? Imposible yung 11. Eh, 10 year old pa nga lang siya eh. Tama? So, 10 years of experience in this world. Kahit sabihin mo na sama mo na pati yung newborn pa lang siya. Okay? 10 years. Okay? And you're living in this world for 35 years. So, sino yung mas maraming experience? Tayo. Mga adult. Tayo mga parents. Right? Ngayon, kung mas marami tayong experience, then mas more, marami nga tayong alam na tama at mali. Paano mo ipo-force lahat yung knowledge mo from 35 years to a 10-year-old child? I think it's very impossible, right? Okay? Kaya nga, napansin nyo, karamihan ng mga parents, pag sinasabihan natin yung anak natin, mayroon din minsan lumalabas yan sa bibig natin na, ay nako, may experience mo rin yung paglaki ko. Ay, paglaki mo. <laughs> ay nako, pagdating mo yan sa edad ko, may experience mo rin yung ganyan. Ay nako, pagagat na... Marami sa atin nagiging ganun, okay? Maybe it's not about cursing, ha? it's more about like a saying. Pero in a way, bakit natin lumabas yun sa bibig natin? Because we are also uh, understand that hindi pa kasi sapat pa yung experience ng bata, okay? Kaya, kumbaga ba, hindi mo matuturo sa kanya lahat ng uh, yes and no, tama at mali. Kung hindi, ang gagawin mo is gagabayad mo siya papunta dun. Huwag mong sabihin sa kanya kung ano yung tama at anong mali. Kundi, gabayan mo siya para kung paano niya itama yung mali, okay, at medyo mas more i-maintain yung tama in a way, okay? Ganun, I think yun yung much more better, okay? Kasi, alimbawa, alimbawa lang, kunyari ako, bilang isang parent, uh, nag, nag, uh, nag-aral ako ng, kunyari, nag-aral ako ng example, um, engineering, okay? At medyo naging challenging sa akin at nag-fail ako sa engineering side. Hindi ko pwede sabihin sa mga anak ko na, oh, alam mo ba, sobrang hirap yung engineering. Tapos parang sinisiraan ko na yung engineering. So, in short, tinatanggal ko na yung salitang engineering sa vocabulary nila. Okay? Because alam kong mahirap siya. Parang ganun. Okay? So, in short, on that part, nililimit ko ngayon yung opportunity ng bata. Eh, paano yung birthday niya at birthday mo magkaiba eh? So, yung potential pala niya at potential mo magkaiba. Halimbawa, pagkatao mo, 
uh, magaling ka uh, magaling ka by uh, um, sabi natin in terms of hands on okay magaling ka technicality okay pero yung anak mo naman hindi siya magaling sa technicality magaling siya sa analytical so that's a two different thing already okay so maybe makakaroon siya ng ibang profession kaya nga, meron di ba may ibang group of uh, family, halimbawa group of family pero doktor. Kasi siyempre doktor yung tatay, doktor yung nanay, naging doktor. Gusto nila, doktor din yung anak nila. <laughs> Tapos meron sila isang anak, hindi naging doktor, naging negosyante. Okay? Maybe uh, bago siya naging negosyante, tawag sa kanya black sheep. <laughs> maraming mga problema, maraming mga ano, masyado extrovert, masyado labas ang labas, hindi umiwi ng bahay. So napapansin natin, nung bilang isang parent, itong batang to, pasaway. Okay? Pasaway siya. Sobrang pasaway, okay? So, black sheep siya. Matigas ang ulo, di nakikinig, mga ganun. So, yun naman ilang things na medyo pwede natin iban, ibansad sa isang bata, okay? Ang mahirap nun kung yung bata nakapag-develop ng maraming negative emotions, okay? Bakit takwil na tayo bilang isang family, okay? Pero kung titignan mo, kung ano, black sheep siya. Bakit nga ba tinawag siyang black sheep? Alam niyo po ba ang black sheep hindi po masama? When you talk about black sheep, that means is he is the black one among the white ones. Ibig sabihin, unique lang siya. Nag-iiba lang siya. Okay? At saka alam niyo po ba, ang black sheep sometimes is the one of the best choice. Okay? Kaya, kaya nga doon sa, ano, diba, sa children line, si black sheep lang po yung napili, hindi naman si white sheep. Okay? Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? <laughs> diba? Yan sa sobrang hilig sa parenting. Eh. Pati yung mga <laughs> children line. <laughs> Papasok yan. Kahit matutulog ka na lang. <laughs> okay? So that's it. Black, baba, black sheep, have you any wool? So in short, still, si black sheep is marami siyang potential na pwedeng magawa in a way. Yun nga lang, iba lang kasi yung potential niya sa potential na meron din tayo. Because iba yung birthday natin, iba yung strength natin, maybe iba rin yung strength niya in a way. Okay? So these are the things that how we can understand a person, if ever. So paano ba natin understand yung mga children natin? So tignan natin, anong category ba sila nakuhulog? Okay? So pag-usapan natin, months. Mga months, Okay? Although, uh, paprankin ko po, it's not 100% partly accurate because of, uh, sabi ko nga, it depends on your life reading, it depends on your uh, combination of your day and hour, Combi- uh, depende rin sa pinaka-exact date itself. So, marami pong computation yan. And uh, don't, don't post it here, okay? Kasi still, hindi ko po compute yan, okay? It takes time. For life reading session, kasi it's hindi po yun yung parang pag uh, sabi niya pa lang na read mo ko, marilid ka agad kita, no? Uh, may mga computation po ginagawa yan. So, if you're interested, yes, you can book me for some life reading. Okay? Pero for now, mag-aaral muna tayo yung general reading lang muna. Okay? So, in short, number one is kailangan muna natin malaman kung nasaan category ba yung anak natin. Isa, isa, isa ba yung isang winter child, spring child, autumn, or summer child. Okay? So, let's start on the uh, spring child. Okay? Spring child muna. Okay? So, pag sinabi mong spring child, ito yung mga spring sa Tagalog, tagsibol, right? Oh, uh, taglago in a way, no? So yung mga panahon na lumalabas yung mga puno. Okay. So ano ba yung buwan? Okay, na considered ka as a spring child. If you are born in the month of February, March, and April, okay? You see nobody to mga February, March, and April, okay? Kapag ka kayo po yung pinanganak ng February, March, and April, kayo po yung spring child person. Okay? At saka pag spring child ka, maraming mga spring child person, medyo I can say magaling sa in terms of studying, okay? Medyo mahilig sila sa libro, mahilig sila magbabasa-basa, mahilig sila mag-research-research ng mga bago, mga ganyan. Uh, sila rin yung mga mahilig mag... Um, uh, I'm not totally explorer, not totally explore. It's more about like reading, maybe explore in a certain topic lang, okay? Not to explore different topic, okay? They focus on certain topic. Okay, February, March, and April, you need to uh, strengthen yung focus and concentration ng mga bata kasi they have focus and concentration. Okay? February, March, April people are meron silang focus and concentration. Now, kung ang children niya po is February, March, and April at nawawala yung, cons- yung concentration, then that means is baka masyado maraming goal na kailangan gawin. Kaya naguguluhan sila. Okay? Do things one at a time lang. Okay? Kaya kung napansin niyo po yung anak natin na, may naku, bakit ganun? Bakit mabilis yan nakawala ng concentration? Eh, pero February, March, April siya, dapat malakas, di ba? Then, maybe, masyadong maraming ginagawa. Then, tuturuan natin sila how to do the time management. One at a time. O sige, tapusin mo muna to. After nyan, eto na yung next. 
Okay? Kaya kung bibigyan niya rin sila ng mga assignment, huwag mo sabihin na sa kanya na, o oh, kailangan tapusin mo to, tapusin mo to, tapusin mo to, tapusin mo to, tapusin mo to. Okay? Kasi iwan mo yan sa kanya, tapos pagbalik mo mamaya, o oh, bakit wala ka pala gagawa? Okay? Yun, kasi nahihirapan siya. So maybe you need to do one at a time, it will be much more easier. Okay? You know, February, March people, I also call them um, developer. They love to develop things. They love uh, playing, uh, building something like that. Okay? So, for me, toys, uh, number one is Lego. Maybe, mga ganong klase, building blocks. For me, medyo highly advised ko yun sa, uh, sa mga parents. Like for me, I I'm a February child person. I love Lego very much. I created uh, different kinds of mga um, images from Lego. And then, napansin ko sa anak ko, which is March, okay, talagang mahilig din siya sa Lego. Uh, without me teaching him, ah, without me teaching him, kasi lagi rin ako wala sa bahay dati, okay? I just buy Lego for sa kanya, tapos tinitingnan ko lang, okay? At saka nakatawa sa kanya, even meron akong manual para, para ipafollow sa kanya, mas gumagawa siya ng sarili niya, okay? Nagawa siya ng sarili niyang Botes 5, Okay? Although, hindi mo kang Boltus 5, syempre, bata pa, 4 year old, pero meron siya sarili niyang way na, oh, ito yung Boltus 5. Tapos pag tinanong mo, oh, saan yung kamay, saan yung paa, i-explain niya lahat sa'yo. Okay? So, that means, nakapag-develop na kagad siya ng certain product just out of this Legos. Okay? So, crafting. Yan, medyo maganda. Okay? Kaya if, you're born, if your child is born in February, March, and April, medyo mas more i-expose mo sila in terms of development. Okay? Maybe you have different kinds of development. Meron brain development. Okay? Meron mga ganong klase. So, pwede mo siyang tignan sa the brain development uh, programs, mga ganon. Okay? Pero they love building things. They love to build things. Okay? At saka, alam mo, prankin ko lang din. Okay? Alam niyo itong mga February, March, and April, uh, February, March, April people or spring child people. Okay? Um, sometimes, they love to do things based on requests. Halimbawa lang, halimbawa, uh, tayo bilang parents, pwede tayo mag-request na, oh, gawa mo nga ako ng ganito, ano ba tingin mo mas better? Magbibigay sila ng mga suggestion, okay? Or mahilig sila mag-suggest ng mga bagay-bagay. So, once your children is giving suggestion, please listen. Kahit sabi natin, alam natin walang kakwenta-kwenta yung sinasabi nila. Okay? Sorry. Sorry for the word. Okay? Sorry for the word. Because maybe some of us is medyo, alam mo yun, tagal lang, no? tagal lang, busy ako, gumo na ako pag ganyanin, okay? Pakinggan mo lang, bigyan mo kahit 5 minutes or 2 minutes or something like that. Okay? Or kung hindi, sabihin mo, sige mamaya, sabihan mo ko. Okay? Bakit? You're extracting the potential of a developer. Okay? Huwag niyo pong ipitin. Huwag niyo po, kung mas lalo na kung may naisip siyang kakaiba, nabibuild siya ng ibang system. Um, kasi when we talk about building, you can also build a different kind of formula. Example, sinabi ng teacher, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Tapos sasabihin niya sa'yo, eh ma'am, Di ba 1 times, ay ano, uh, 2 times 1 is equal to 2 rin. Meron siyang formula rin to create a certain uh, certain solution or certain result. Pero yun nga lang, meron siya ibang formula. So, yun yung medyo maganda to explore different kinds of formula. Okay? Para mas more lumabas yung pagiging ano niya, yung uh, pagiging developer niya. Okay? I, I share one good example. Okay? Malamang lahat tayo kilala natin si Steve Jobs, right? <laughs> Steve Jobs is a February person. At alam naman natin kung ano yung dinevelop niya. At alam naman natin kung ano yung kinreate niya. Okay? At bakit niya kinreate yun? Maybe it's because something to do with the external world. Kung ano yung madalas yung hinihingi na ng tao. Ano yung gusto ng tao. So, nag-isip siya kung ano ba yung madadevelop niya certain system para dito sa mga tao nito. Okay? So, ganun siya. Okay? Kaya alam niyo po, one way of I'm gonna teach you is on how to um, give the best advice for our kids is try nyo po maghanap ng famous people na related sa birthday din ng anak natin. Okay? So example, if your child is a March-born person, try to find March-born people also na mga famous and successful. Then, try mo aralin yung biography nila. Pwede mo i-apply yung mga experience nila dito sa bata. Mabilis yung magigets. Ganun siya. Okay? Mabilis yung magigets yun. Kasi pag, pag uh, ipupush natin yung sarili natin experience, pero iba naman tayo sa potential natin sa potential ng bata, hindi niya magigets yun. Okay? Kaya na sinabi mo doon sa bata na, o oh, kailangan maging hardworking ka, tulad ako, hardworking ako. E yun pala, yung birthday ng bata, hindi siya pang hardworking, kundi pang smart working. Okay? Kaya I don't say that work smart is always correct. And I, di ba? Sometimes work smart also need to work hard. And there are some people na, so sabihin natin, um, yung they focus too much of work hard, but wala naman sila napupuntahan kasi they need also to work smart. Okay? So ito lang yung nasasabi natin na um, 
it takes two to tango. <laughs> no man is an island because you can work hard, but maybe you could not work smart. And there are some people who work smart, but they don't work hard. Okay? At mahirap mag-shift from one place to another. Sabi mo na, pag tinuroan mo yung mga staff mo na, or mga tao mo na sabi mo, hindi pwede lagi work hard ka na work smart. Very easy to say, pero hindi po yung basta-basta. Okay? Mas lalo na if your child is belong to other group. Okay? To other uh, to other season group. Okay? So, yun po yung mga ilang things. So, ngayon, at least alam muna natin, spring child people, February, March, April, okay? Sila yung mahilig mag-build ng mga bagay-bagay. Okay? I call them developers. They love to develop things. Mga ganang klase. Okay? So, maybe doon natin sila mas more i-expose. Ngayon, paano to sa, sa pag- uh, Um, study from home, paano natin i-apply itong mga to, okay? Maybe sa study from home, inspiration natin is build natin sila ng mga something din, okay? Para for that. Example, after niya aralin yung isang subject, tapos sabi mo sa kanya na, o oh, baka may maisip ko dyan, may mabibuild ka something dyan, di ba? Share mo naman, mga ganong klase. So, alam mo yung parang ginagabayan mo lang siya. Hindi mo pinipilit sa kanya dapat yung gawin. Kundi ginagabayan mo siya para ilabas niya, okay? Example, halimbawa, nag-aaral siya science, E eh, board na board siya sa science, example lang, di ba? Pero because of the topic is medyo interesting, tapos sinabi mo sa kanya na, oh sige, build ka nga ng something like that. Tapos meron siya na build, tapos inappreciate mo yung na build niya, bigla siya makakaroon ng interest doon sa ginagawa niya. Okay? Do you know I hate math? <laughs> I hate math. Noong time na bata po ko, sobrang hindi ko po gusto ang math. Okay? At uh, siguro, ano lang, parang, how I call it? No choice tayo kasi we need to study it. <laughs> Mga ganong klase. Okay, uh, I don't love to analyze everything lahat. Okay, kasi for me, parang mas gusto ko maglaro. Mga ganong ng bata ako. So, yun yung mga ilang bagay, no? And, uh, paprankin ko rin po, my parents are too busy in the business. And then, uh, uh, because we're starting a business. And uh, me, me, myself, is I'm very, uh, parang, yun nga lang, medyo may mga tutor kami, pero most likely is more about self-study, okay? So, it becomes a challenge. Mas lalo na pagdating ng grade 6 na tinanggal na po yung tutor, talaga totally, we need to study by our own. It's very hard. It's very hard talaga to understand everything. Pero, um, luckily, when I get to first year high school, okay, and uh, meron ako isang teacher na talaga hindi ko makalimutan, okay? Kasi, noong time na medyo lalagpak-lagpak na ako sa math ko, okay, ginawa niya ako teacher's pet. Ginawa niya ako teacher's pet. Na thinking na baka kasi pag naging teacher's pet ako, kahit na mababa yung score ko, papasa niya ako. Okay? So, in short, sip-sip. Okay? Pero dito ko mapapadunahin na hindi po lahat ng sip-sip masama. Okay? Nung tayo nga sip sip po ako para pumasa yung grade ko with this kind of a teacher, hindi niya ako binago. Ang ginawa niya, binago niya yung pananaw ko. So, binigyan niya ako konting inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. Out of nowhere, bigla lang siya mag magtatanong ng something. Tapos, biglang nasasagot ko. Tapos, sabi ko, tignan mo, kaya mo sagutin, mga ganyang klase. Yung oh, strength mo. Ganon siya. You, you don't need totally to work too much to, or too hard. Kung hindi, tignan mo lang kung nasan yung butas. Okay? Tapos, nung ko napansin, yung time na sinabi niya, parang tignan ko yung butas, tignan ko kung uh, gumawa ako ng sarili kong style, inaccept yung style ko. So, hindi ako yung parang kung ano yung sinulat niya yun lang yung inaaral ko o minimemorize ko. Kasi mahilig ako sa memorization para tapos-tapos na. Pero hindi niya ginawa yun. Kung hindi sabi niya, ikaw, explain mo kung ano yung tingin mo, feel mo. Ganun. So, that's the time na, na hilig ako gumawa na sarili kong formula. Di ba, algebra? Algebra is more ng formula. Kaya sobrang nahilig ko siya. Tapos then, on that part, nagbago. Nagbago ako. So, in short, nalabas yung pagiging um, developer or builders in me. Parang ganun. Then, I build formulas. I love to create formulas, mga ganun. Until now, I'm doing it, okay? Kahit sabi mo, hindi po ako nag-apply ng algebra sa aking mga trabaho, pero I do um, system, okay? Like yung mga nakapagpa-life reading po sa akin, may idea kayo, di ba? I do it kung paano yung system, like category, characteristic muna, mga ganito muna, uh, tapos strength and weaknesses muna. Meron ako yung system. And this system is, no one teach me because I need to create my own system, okay? So this is uh, one good thing about developers. They can create system. Ganun siya. And then, uh, yun yung maganda lang. Inspiration was being given to me by this, uh, uh, one of my favorite teacher. Never ko makalimutan yan, si Mr. Yang. <laughs> Wala na po siya dito, nasa Taiwan na po siya. Okay, pero sobrang thankful po talaga ako makilala ko siya sa buhay ko. Okay, so that's something. Okay, that will inspire us. Okay, so yun ang mga ilan things na we can also teach to our children. Maybe, um, mahanap din natin mga tamang mentors for them. Or maybe, e e expect ano natin, kung magbaba, i-extract natin yung potential. Okay? So, February, March, April, 
you have a child which is, uh, I call it, uh, you have a child which is our developers, okay? So, we help them to become a developer, a potential developers, okay? Alam niyo po ba, ang developer niya, pag pinalawak, pinalaki niyo pa yan, pwede yung developer ng mga negosyo, ah? pwede rin mga business, like yung mga realty, di ba? Like Ayala, yung mga Ayala, diba? I think, developers din sila. <laughs> okay? Although, wala lang akong, wala lang akong uh, ma-search about them, yung talagang yung pinaka nag-start ng Ayala. But maybe some of you, okay, have the potential, maybe you can check their workplace. Yan, tignan nyo po. Okay, na baka one of the developers sila. Okay? Oo, one of the develop yung, yung pinaka-senior na nakapag-start ng itong development of mga business or buildings, di ba? Baka, isa sila doon. Okay? Kaya, yeah, developer. Okay? Yun. <laughs> Okay, now, if your child naman was born on the next month, which is May, June, July, then your child belongs to the, what we call, summer child naman. Okay, when we talk about summer child, okay, um, ito yung mga typical na laging mainit ang katawan. Okay, pag siya mo mainit ang katawan, yung sabihin parang laging agresibo, aktibo, okay, at saka hindi mapakalin na nakaupo lang sa isang sa isang side lang, okay? Sila yung typical na talaga hindi mo pakali. Kaya medyo sila yung medyo may part konting challenging pagdating sa work uh, study from home, okay? Kasi parang for them, after 30 minutes lang, parang <laughs> hindi sila mapakali. <laughs> Then ito rin again, okay? Pansin niyo po, ah, pansin niyo po, sino po ba yung dito may mga ano, may June July na anak, okay? Ako, July yung anak ko, no? Time to time, kailangan mag-wiwi. <laughs> time to time, kailangan mag-CR. Kasi just only for the sake na para at least baka baba lang siya, baka, baka lakad-lakad, mga ganong klase. Bakit? Sila yung mga aktibo, agresibo ang tao. Sila yung mga typical hindi mapakali, okay, sa isang lugar. Although these are the people who are I call the executor. They're good with executions. Magagaling sila pagdating sa executions. Okay, they're very productive. Gusto gusto nila, marami silang ginagawa. Okay, kahit maraming homework, okay lang sa kanila. They can do a lot. Okay? Now, kung sakali hindi nila gusto yung mga homework, maybe because they don't have the inspiration or passion for what they do. So, ito yung tatanda natin. Because they're born in the summer child, okay, you need to extract their passion. Okay? So, in short, bulahin nyo po sila sa passion nila. Okay? Example, Mami, ayoko ng math. Parang na ganun sila. Okay? Then, anong pwede natin turo? O, oh, sige. Uh, bumili ako ng isang apple. Tapos, bumili na ako sa pang apple. Ilang apple meron ko? Dalawang apple. Ang tuling mo, ah! <laughs> gets mo? You, you, you put the understanding or their study in a, in a, parang, in a, in a, not totally in reality, kasi hindi naman natin ginagawa silang matanda agad, no? Pero, in a practice na kung saan, pwede mo silang i-uplift yung emotions nila. Na parang, oh, ang galing mo dyan, ah! Di ba? Parang mga ganun. Kaya, nagko-color sila. Oh, magkailan yung color mo ha? In short, i-apply mo parate. Bakit? Itong mga May, June, July na tao, mga summer child people, mga summer child, okay, they love appreciation. They always love appreciation. They want to be appreciated. They want to be recognized. Mga ganun klase. So, in short, bubulahin natin sila. I-exage natin yung uh, certain mga, ano nila, yung mga gawain nila. Although, although, We're not talking about spoiling them, ha? That's different, okay? Spoiling them is, um, alam mo yung parang, nireward mo na nga, kahit may mali sila, nireward mo, so that's wrong, okay? Uh, summer child people is, you need to be very uh, clear with reward and punishment. Pag sinabi mo yung salitang punishment, punish mo talaga. Okay? Pag sinabi mo yung reward, i-reward mo talaga. Please, huwag ka magsisinungaling on that part. Okay? Kasi pag isa lang dyan bagay na sinungaling ka, maglalaro ka na sa kamay niya. That's a problem with the summer child people. Okay? Magaling sila mag-control ng tao. So we need to be more careful on that. Okay? Pero one good thing about summer child people, May, June, July people, eh, okay, is pagka sinabi mong um, ito yung magiging reward mo, nagkakaroon sila ng potential energy on that part, um, mas more, ma-uplift mo yung energy nila na in a way, gusto nila makuha yung reward nila. Kaya sisipagi nilang gawin o trabaho, kaya sila ay very productive. Okay? Pero, there's a tendency, they're very tactless and aggressive na sometimes nagmamadali sila just to finish a certain task or assignment kasi meron sila ibang gustong gawin. So, you need to also to be strict na, o, teka lang ha, kailangan maganda yung result. Kailangan ganito. Kasi kung hindi, hindi mo mo ko yung reward. Okay? So, it's not always working hard. Okay? It's about the quality of what they can produce. Yun po yung importante. Okay? Um... Uh, Summer child people, they believe in quantity over quality. But we need to train them quality over quantity. 
Okay? Kasi if we if we just leave them about quantity over quality, magiging masyado sila makwenta. Okay? So quality over quantity. Still, we will reward them, pero kailangan makuha natin yung quality of the result. Okay? Now, if kapag medyo masama talaga sila, punishment. Sorry, uh, maybe you can have different kinds of punishment, but still, whatever punishment na ibinigay niyo po, kailangan niyo po gawin yun. Okay? Example, pag sinabi niyo, oh, papaluin kita ng tatlong beses using this stick. Okay? Pag hindi mo nagawa yan, pag talagang hindi niya gawa, paluin niyo talaga. Huwag niyong nolokohin yung bata. Okay? Kasi pag yung time hindi niya po pinalo, there's a tendency that you're spoiling the children already. Alam niyo po ba, summer child, okay? Summer child, uh, sino ba mga summer child dito? <laughs> Shoti dyan! Ano, <laughs> summer child ka tala. Medyo lumaki ka din sa palo kay daddy. <laughs> kay dad. <laughs> okay. Originally, kasi ganito yun. Okay. Um, summer child. Okay. Pag lumaki kayo ng walang palo, totally ah. Um, marami ako napapansin ng mga prob- problematic children uh, na nagiging spoiled brat is ito yung mga summer child na walang punishment na na nakuha sa kanilang parents. Okay? And sino yung mga sobrang sobrang uh, magagaling na summer child is may mga konti silang punishment nakuha sa kanilang parents. Okay? Kaya for me, we need, we want them, okay, we want to train them, okay, polishing their strength. Okay? Punishment, that, that doesn't mean naman kasi na ano eh, yung parang punishment, that doesn't mean naman kasi na talagang totally is pinaprosahan mo na talaga yung bata. Hindi naman ganun eh. It's more like a parang you letting, um, let, letting them understand the cause and effect. Okay? If you do this, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. Okay? Kung naintindihan nila yan, ako, I think sobrang, much, it will be much more easier for us. Mahirap lang sa una. Pero the more na mas marami ka nang binibigay dyan, it, it will become more better. Mas lalo na June people. Mga June people, they're very, ano sila, sila yung typical na, uh, sa una, medyo mahirap. Pero once upon the eyes mo na yan, dire-direcho na yan. They're very good. They're very good. They're following the system. They're very good on that. Okay? Sa una lang, medyo mahirap lang. Ito-twist mo lang ng konti yan. Mga June people, mga ganun. Okay? Si May, medyo mas mahirap ng konti kasi talaga makuwenta yan. <laughs> okay? Mga May people, ha? makuwenta talaga yan. Okay? The, talaga mas more they focus on the reward type. No? So, in short, summer child people, we will focus on the, their execution, productivity. Okay? We will always want to see the result, the quality of result. Bakit? Meron mga batang May, June, July, sasabihin nila sa'yo, sa mga parents na, Oh, dad, ma'am, oh, nag, nag-aral naman ako buong hapon eh. Nag-aral ako, nag-aral ako, nag-aral ako. Okay, nag-aral ka. Asan ba yung tinapos mo? Wala. Nag-aral lang. <laughs> okay? So, pinapak- um, parang naniniwala nga sa sila, quantity over quality. Na parang, I study a lot, I study a lot, I study a lot. Pero, kailangan natin makita yung result. Okay? So, we, wa- we want to train them to become result-oriented people. Okay? Yun yung medyo maganda. No? <laughs> hindi, John. Hindi ka ha. <laughs> <laughs> Pag narinig to ni dad. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, ito yung mga example. Like, if you talk about, like, yung mga people who has that kind of experience, pag titignan mo, like, sila, um, number one, creator of Facebook, okay, si Mark. Yeah, si Mark Zuckerberg. So, yeah, he's a May-born person. Si Yushutan is a July-born person. So, pag titignan mo, these are some of the executor people, okay, summer shell people, and try to understand their experience bilang sa mga bata, okay? These are mga mga bata to, mga ano to? Mga bata to, eh. Mas, mga, ano na po yan, super senior na po yan si Yushutan. <laughs> Pero, still, noong time na mga bata po sila, imposible mula silang hardship. These are the people who have uh, undergone some uh, true hardship talaga. Okay? At yun ang maganda sa mga summer child. Pero ang hawak lang nila dyan is always the flag of victory. They want na ma-appreciate lahat ng kanilang ginagawa. They are very willing. They're very willing. Okay? Na talagang lumusot sa butas. Okay? Or ng karayom. Okay? Or talaga maghirap. Wala problema sa kanila yan. They can cross over whatever hardship importante lang is what are the reward that they can get. Okay? Kasi ang mata nila nasa victory. Kailangan makuha ko yung victory. Okay? Kaya kailangan once sa pagnagawa ng mga bata ito, wag na wag tayong, huwag natin ipagkakait yung reward system for them. Okay? Yun po yun. Okay? Maybe meron naman mga parents, um, tawag ko lang kung meron mga guilty parents here na ang reward system natin is pagkain. <laughs> so I'm very sure your May, June, July children are very uh, <laughs> 
malusok. Okay? <laughs> okay, bakit? Kasi for them, they're very, ano sila, ma-urge din sila pagdating sa pagkain. Okay, pag sinabi, oh mami nga, pag aaral ako, bigyan mo ko lollipop, or bigyan mo ko pagkain, or jolly ko tayo, mga ganun klase, ma-urge din kasi sila sa pagkain. Okay? Summer child are very strong pagdating sa pagkain. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Yun. So, medyo ingatan din natin kasi sila yung medyo mabilis din lumaki if ever. Okay? Uh, although sila rin yung kapag uh, sinabi mong papayot, kaya rin nila in a way. No? Uh, basta depende kung ano yung reward. They always look on the reward. Okay? Pero kailangan natin sanayin sila about reward and punishment. So, in short, pagdating sa mga study from home, ganun din. Very easy. Diba? Sasabihin natin sa kanila na, oh, sige, pag ito ginawa mo, ito gagawin natin. Okay? Example ako sa anak ko, kasi July yung anak ko, yung panganay ko. And uh, he, she is a year of the horse. No? So, ang um, alam ko na kagad na very executor siya, which is kitang-kita naman. Ang hihilig niya mag-produce, very productive siya. Pero the problem lang sometimes is yun nga, yung pagka masyado mong uh, pinagkait sa kanyang reward, tinatamad din siya. Tapos minsan iyak muna siya, ganun, parang ganun. So yun yung ayaw natin. Kaya ang ginagawa ko sa kanya, oh, sige, pag ito ginawa mo, mamaya ito na magagawa mo. Okay? So ang alam natin, hilig niya TV. Okay? Kung hilig siya manood ng TV, sige, bibi na kita para makanood ka ng 30 minutes ng TV, pero kailangan matapos mo muna itong tatlong subject na to para mga ganong klase. Di ba, kanoon siya 30 minutes. Parang ganun. Pero huwag natin abusuin yung reward kasi pag inabuso mo na yung reward, wala na siyang titignan for, for the next day. <laughs> Kunyari, binigay mo na lahat. Okay? Wala na siya for the next day. Then, baka the next day, tinamad na siya totally. Okay? So, kailangan din natin i-control. Okay? So, matuto tayo mag-control. Okay? Kaya napansin mo, ito mga tinuturo ko ngayon, sino yung nag-a-adjust? It's not our children. We as a parent, we need to adjust ourselves on how we can provide this kind of uh, training for our children para pag lumaki sila, they will become very responsive, uh, very responsible and uh, talaga na-extract natin yung potentials nila. Okay? Kasi pag in-apply nga nila to sa mundo, sobrang galing. Okay? Diba? So, yun yung ilan example. Now, if your child is born in August, September, or October, okay, we call them the autumn child. Autumn child, ay tawag ko dyan mga innovators. Okay? They love to improve things. Okay? Although, <laughs> ito yung mga, sino sa inyo may mga anak na ano? Tinanganak ng August, September, October. Okay? Tignan ko nga lang, tignan ko lang. Just type me. Just type me. Tignan pala. <laughs> okay? Uh, tip, uh, children born in August, September, October. Okay? Yung mga anak natin. Okay? So, meron ba? Meron ba? <laughs> Alright. So, nag-enjoy kayo, ha? <laughs> si Jan, no? <laughs> Tawa ko kay Shoti Jan. Ako nga, no? June, June ka, di ba? Tama ba, Jan? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, tingnan natin, ha? Oh, wala, wala pa sa mga sagot ng mga me. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so, ano natin? Kung sakasakali lang, if your children are born of August, September, October, okay, then congratulations, you have a lawyer. <laughs> sa uh, sa bahay. Okay? So, pag sinabi mo meron ka ng lawyer sa bahay niyo, in short, ito yung mga typical na mahilig din sa makipag-debate. Okay? At mahilig din sa magsabi kung anong tama at mali. <laughs> mga ganun. Kahit na sila'y bata pa lang. Kahit na sila yung, alam mo yung minsan yung parang they debate with you. Sometimes sila sabi niya, oh, di ba mami, ganyan? Di ba ganito? Di ba ganyan? Yun. Sila yung mga typical na mahilig mag ganun. Okay? Bakit? Kasi, partly, itong mga August, September, October, okay, they believe on what they call the right thing, okay? They love what are right things or not, uh, parang, alam mo, parang kung ano yung tama at mali. Kahit bata pa lang sila, medyo mature na yung otak nila na magsabi, mag, mag-isip sila na parang sabi nga kung ano yung tama at anong mali. Although, syempre yung basis ng learning nila, maybe galing lang sa YouTube or galing lang sa Google or galing lang sa narinig nila sa iba, pero they always love to do that, that kind of uh, uh, parang comment komentary nila. Okay? Na parang para silang lawyer, in short. Okay? Kaya minsan, iwasan nga, iwasan nyo po magsinungaling sa kanila. Kasi, uh, hanap, uh, hanapin nila yung mali mo. Okay? For them to look good. Okay? Ganun yung medyo style ng mga August, September, October. Okay? Although, how to train them is, you need to give them talaga fixed system. Okay? Uh, kung si developer, okay, si February, March, April people are developers, they can create system. August, September, October, they cannot totally create a system, but they can just follow the system. Okay? They follow the system. At pag, na, pag medyo na-memorize nila yung system, para sa kanila, yun yung strength nila. Kaya nga sila parang lawyer. Di ba? Ano ba yung strength ng mga lawyer? 
yung yung ano yung ano natin ano ba uh, tawag dito yung sa ligang batas natin <laughs> yun ang strength nila kasi tayo nahihirapan tayong manalo against them because they know the rules they know the lahat ng butas ng rules yung mga ganun kaya lawyer to lawyer yung nabanan di ba mga ganun so these are also mga partly August, September, October you have a lawyer in your in your house already although I'm not saying that babagsak sila sa pagiging lawyer profession okay not totally kasi it depends always no pero yung nga lang may pagka lawyer na ugali okay They know the system, they can improve the system, in short, parang ganun, they can innovate the system, then uh, they create their best thing. Okay, so yun yung medyo maganda. Now, the problem lang with August, September, October, uh, tayo bilang isang parent, huwag niyo pong kagad na, alam niyo pong halimbawa na, kunyari bigyan siya sa scratch paper, tapos sabi mo, oh, create something. Okay, si February, March, April is very easy. Oh, bigyan mo ang papel, oh, create something, draw something. It's very easy for them. Mabilis nila ilabas yan. Okay? Or sa mga yun, medyo may mga, ano na, mga, sabi natin, mga high school student or maybe late elementary or to high school or junior high to senior high, mga ganun. Kapag sabi mo sa kanila, o oh, sige, bigyan mo papel, o oh, create a story, it's very easy for them. Okay? Pagka February, March, April. Pero pag August, September, October, they cannot start on something. Okay? Maybe some, yes, kasi sabi ko, depende sa life reading, pero... 80% ng mga nakikilala ko at saka mga inaayos ko mga function parenting ko hindi nila kaya so paano natin gagawin okay someone need to say a certain topic first okay example binigay mo ng papel okay can you write something example about uh, related to a restaurant ayan bigla mo binigay yung restaurant tsaka niya may isip tsaka siya gagawa ng maraming system about it ang marami siya masusulat about it kasi meron siyang certain topic kung saan siya magsistart get your point August, September, October, they are improvers. They love to improve things. But the first question, can you improve something out of nothing? You cannot improve nothing. <laughs> diba? You can improve something, but not nothing. You can innovate something, but you cannot innovate nothing. So in short, if you start with nothing, then nothing, there's no outcome, will be produced. Ito yung problem ng mga August, September, October. Okay? Yun. Kaya kailangan something first, then they can do their style. Okay? Kaya nga, I can say they're good with innovations, improvers. Magaling sila sa technicality, mga ganyan. Okay? Halimbawa, ito yung, ito yung mga, uh, binigyan mo silang problem, they can provide solution. Okay? Pag walang problem, they find problem. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yung mga ganong klase. No? So, <clears throat> sila yung mga typical na mahilig din sila mag-analyze. Yan. So, maybe analytical. Originally, August, September, October, people are dapat medyo clean sila sa, in terms of mga math. Mahilig sila sa mga ganun, mga problem solving, mga uh, trying to understand things sa mga ganong klase. Kung sakaling hindi nila gusto yung math, it may be the explanation is not clear enough for them. Maybe the teachers, they don't explain totally, kaya hindi din nagbasa na nag-gets. Or tayo mismo, hindi natin, hindi natin masyado pinapa, uh, na-explain na maayos. Okay, so in short, clarity is very important for August, September, October, which have. Okay? Kaya hindi po pwede, ay basta, makuha mo na yun. <laughs> okay? Kung tinamad ka mag-explain, tatama rin din silang mag-aral. Tatama rin din silang uh, i-understand yun. Okay? Ngayon, kung hindi po talaga natin kaya explain please try to find the bike the best um, mentor who can teach them or inspire them in short mga ganung klase okay uh, yun yung highly advice ko that's how we can adjust kasi dun, dito minsan pumapasok yung challenge eh. tingnan mo kaya sabi ko ang lawyer okay eh paano ko nyari pagiging lawyer niya tapos debate ka ng debate hinahanap pa niya ng mali eh kung napatunayan na siya yung tama tayo parents ang mali baliktad na makokontrol niya tayo sa kamay nila and which is ayaw natin yun kasi bakit there's a tendency magiging small brat sila. Okay? Yun yung hindi natin gusto. Hindi din natin pwede yung paramdam sa kanila, sila lagi yung panalo. Kailangan may seniority complex din na they need to understand na meron kang certain level na meron kang respect dapat sa mga seniors mo. Okay? So yun ang example. Kaya we need to let that uh, feel, uh, let them feel that in a way. Okay? Kasi ayaw natin lumaki sila magiging small brat. Okay? Taking advantage of someone. Ayaw natin maging ganun. Kaya sabi ko nga eh, Uh, hindi po natin obligasyon tumulong pero obligasyon natin huwag mag uh, magbuman ng lamang or magmasama ng ibang tao. Okay? We need to be very careful. Yun, I think, best teaching para sa mga kids din natin. In a way, no? So, kung tutuusin, these are the people um, uh, 
uh, autumn child, okay, sila ma sometimes trying also to find shortcuts, okay? <laughs> so, ito din yung mga autumn child. Sometimes they also trying to find shortcuts, mga ganun. Although they believe on hardship. They believe that, oh, may sige, sige, kung kailangan ko gawin, gagawin ko. Masipag naman sila. Medyo nadudun naman yung sipag din nila. But sometimes they try to find na parang, eh, mami, parang hindi naman yata importante to eh. Baka pwede ba laktawan na na to para ito na lang gagawin ko? Parang ganun. <laughs> so, in short, sila yung mga typical na uh, darating ang time, okay, na parang they can, they can create something, okay, something from the existing system. Kunyari, existing system, nakita niya, pero napansin niya, meron pang shortcut na kaya gawin doon, i-innovate niyo. Tatanggalin niya mga walang kwenta doon, tapos gagawa siya much more easier para sa kanya. Okay? So, kung sakali, ginawa ko ng mga anak niya, okay, isa lang po yung titignan natin, we just focus on the outcome goal. Okay? Don't focus too much on the process. Haya mo siya doon sa process. Sige, gawin mo yan, tignan ko kung ano yung outcome goal. Ngayon ko yung outcome goal niya, same na same naman dito sa una, then that means your children has that potential already. Okay? That has a, that uh, potential already. Yun yung isa sa maganda. Kasi kapag ka pinilit po natin na sundin lang niya yung proseso, okay, then we're just training a robot. Okay? We're training a robot. Tandaan niyo po, hindi po robot yung mga anak natin. So don't train them na parang i-follow lang yung system per system. Executors, okay, yung May, June, July, you can train them like that. Kasi they love to follow system. For them, as long that there's a system, it's much more easier for them. Okay lang kahit long cut. Basta yung assurance ng quality tsaka assurance ng ng uh, result is nando doon walang problema sa kanila that's one good thing with mga or, uh, summer child people kasi ano sila naniniwala sila sa hardship naniniwala rin sila sa uh, basta straight line yun yung goal okay na kami dyan basta pag naproduce namin yung tamang goal with the tamang time wala kami problema dyan kaya yung mga may, may, may June July people, mga crammers yan. <laughs> Minsan okay na malapit na, tsaka gagawin, hahabulin lahat eh. Pero they don't do shortcut. They finish everything, detail per detail. That's one good thing about it sa mga summer child. But autumn child, they find shortcuts. Okay? And if they can find shortcuts, okay, as long that the result is the same, that's good for them. Pero if they find shortcut and the result is not the same, then correct them. <laughs> Okay? Correct then. <laughs> so, huwag niyo pong hahayaan na hindi po pagiging correct at may kipag-debate kayo at matatalo tayo sa debate. Tandaan niyo nga po, we have lawyers in our, uh, in our home pagka uh, August, September, October. Okay? Sila may hilig na right ako, right ako, right ako. <laughs> okay? Sila yung mga may hilig mag-debate what is right, what is wrong. Pero darating ang time, gusto rin nyo na lagi lang sila tama. Okay? Yun nga lang ingatan niyo pala sa mga autumn, summer child and autumn child uh, hurting their emotions. We need to be more, very careful with our children. I think not only for summer child or autumn child, maybe kahit sino naman, no? Uh, ayaw po natin totally durugin yung puso nila. Okay? So, may, we need to be more, very careful bilang some parents. Kasi, syempre, sometimes, um, uh, yung nga yung sabi ko, we need to practice DHV as much as possible. We, we, uh, we try to extract the higher value of a person. Okay? Gawin mo lahat ng gusto mo, kahit para sa aming tao, walang problema, pero dahil ang purpose mo is to extract the higher value. Pero kung ginawa mo, dinurog mo yung tao para lang paramdam sa kanya na kasama siya sa mga pinaka-lowest of the lowest, then sinira mo na yung, sinira mo na yung potential ng isang tao. Okay? Kaya nga, medyo hindi ko po gusto yung ginagawa ng mga ibang bashers. Kasi, you know, okay lang yung bashers that you bash certain thing para to help that person to improve, that's okay. I call them criticizers. Sige lang, criticize mo. Pero ang potential mo, ang focus mo, because you want to extract the potential. ba? Example, sino bang food critics ang nakikilala mo at naalala mo? Sino ba? Uh, Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay, right? <laughs> diba? Anong ginawa niya? Grabe siya mag-criticize. Sabi niya, ano ba itong pagkain mo? Pagkain ba ba ng tao to? Diba? Oh, that's very, very hurting. Mas lalo ako, isa kang chef, sobrang hurting yun. Pag narinig mo yun, pagkain ka ba ng tao ito yan? Diba? Parang lasang pupu. Mga ganun. Diba? Ang sasasabi niya mga ganun. Sobrang, sobrang hurting. Pero, after niya gawin yun, meron siya mga way of how to extract your potential. Sasabihin niya kung bakit saan ka nakamali, saan yung ganito. It's not because of to put you down, but because of for you to improve. Parang ganun siya. So, for me, I don't say na masama siya. Okay? 
maybe yes, some of us is na, na hurt on that part, pero most important is what is the intention. Okay? So, that's to extract the higher value of a person. Bakit? Kasi para pag next time, buha, uh, malakas ng loob ng tao in terms of critics. Kasi pag nagkaroon ka ng confidence against critics, next time, hindi, hindi ka siya lumapektuhan. Like for me, when I suffered 2008, uh, about sa mga criticizers, mga nagbash sa akin sa social media, <clears throat> ngayong pandemic, marami din nagbash sa akin. Okay lang, wala na akong problema. Bakit? Nasanay na ako dyan. <laughs> right? Okay, so yun importante. So, yung kailangan natin patibayin yung loob natin against this. So, yung mga bata, yung mga anak din natin, so sana hindi natin sila sa ganun. Okay? Maybe, yes, they can hurt some of mga hurting words, punishment. Bakit? Para pag nabuhay sila sa mundo, sa labas ng mundo, sanay na sila. Kaya pansinin niyo po, minsan pag nanonood tayo mga teleserya na mga sinasabi niya, o itong anak ko, hindi ito na paano, never to na paano, never na pagalitan. Pero pag lumaki sila po yung mga villains, <laughs> bakit kaya? <laughs> diba? Kasi because of two spoiled brat, nananiwala sila lahat ng galaw nila is tama. Walang mali. Parang ganun. So, these are the things that we can do as binang sa parents. So, so uh, we want to partly train them to become ready to the outside world. Parang ganun siya. Kahit bata pa lang yan, may training na po yan. Tandaan niyo po, mga bata ngayon, iba na po. Iba na po yung takbo ng isip nila. They're very mature already. They're very mature. Kaya nga, yung sinasabi nila yung millennials, the millennials, the mga um, late 90s to early 20, uh, 2000s, mga ganun, the millennials. For me, walang problema with millennials. Okay? For them, I call them the future. Millennials. For the word millennial, di ba? Millennial is the, the, modern, uh, the modern world. The, 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 the new world na yun. New world talaga. <laughs> okay? Uh, new world. No? So in short, bakit, bakit natin sinabi yung ganun? Kasi they had the strength. Biro mo sa kanila with that kind of uh, like bata pa lang sila pero yung urge nila, yung 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 uh, risk taking nila, di ba? Sobrang lakas. Ganun. Compare sa ating dati na traditional, okay, na lahat ng galaw natin is very conservative. Okay? Pero sila ngayon very risk taker. Okay? So, is it wrong? No, I don't call it wrong. Yeah. Maybe yes, aggressive. Maybe sometimes tactless. But because of the urge, eh, nandun yung urge, nandun yung passion. So, yes, no problem. Walang masama doon. Ang tanong lang, depende kung paano natin na-train at na-extract yung potential ng tao. So, how to extract? Using this. Alamin mo lang, ano ba siya? Spring child? Autumn child? Summer child? And the lastly, winter child. Okay? So, ano naman yung winter child? Okay, so lastly, tignan lang natin. The winter child is people who are born November, December, and January. Okay? So, ito yung medyo partly a little special for me. No? Uh, November, December, January people are what we call winter child. Taglamig. <laughs> okay? Taglamig. Ito, baka may mga kumontra lang ha, pero pang ano lang to pang pasakali lang natin o pang joke part, okay? November, December, January, basically, some other uh, feng shui masters or some other feng shui mga consultant, they belo- sabi nila, nako, ito yung mga taong medyo tatamad-tamad, okay? <laughs> Bakit? Kasi winter child, panahon ng malamig, sarap matulog, sarap magpahinga, sarap umupo lang, okay? Kaya sinabi nila, the winter child daw is mga tatamad-tamad lang, uupo-upo lang, Okay? Pero alam niyo po ba, nung time na umupo sila, alam niyo ba na sure ba kayo na wala silang ginagawa? Okay? The more you rest your body, the more your brain is working. Tandaan niyo po yan. That's why we want a balanced life. We want, uh, meron sports tayong ginagawa because we want to balance mental and physical body. Okay? But this mga winter child people, the more they rest their body, the more their mind is working. So, I call them the thinkers. They love to think. They love to uh, plan out things sa mga ganong klase. Okay? So in short, hindi man sila agad-agad maging masipag magtrabaho, pero mahi- masipag sila mag-isip lahat. Ano ba yung potential, advantage, disadvantage, mga ganyan. Lahat yan, lalabas yan sa kanila. Kaya nga maraming mga winter child nagiging teachers, trainers, okay? uh, inspirational givers, mga ganong. Mahilig sila mag- mag-isip mga ganong mga bagay, magsalita. Okay? Or we can also expand that energy in what I call the um, vision, okay? Maybe I can call them visionaries. They love uh, to think outside the box, okay? Mga ganong klase, okay? Kaya kung panahon na nakaupo lang sila, yun yung time na tumatakbo ng tumatakbo yung mind nila, okay? Then, syempre, pag tumakbo na yung mind nila, pag meron sila na-create na magandang idea, the asking na lang ngayon is, paano execution, okay? Na-execute pa kagad nila o oh, hindi. 
So kung na-execute ka agad nila, then that means na ex- uh, from the great idea, execution, meron silang great product. Okay? If they know how to use people, then great products also comes out. That's also good. Okay? Kaya ang sabi nila, naku, winter child saka summer child, magkalaban yan kasi isang lamig, isang init. But if they work together, productivity comes out. Okay? So yun ang medyo kagandahan. Kaya for me, as a, at the end of the point, walang conflict-conflict, walang clashes-clashes. We just need to know how to compromise to each other. Okay? Yun yung pinaka, I think, most important. Kaya mga winter child, believe in yourself, number one. Believe in yourself. Believe on your ideas. Okay? Kung meron man kayong, alam mo, mga sakit ng mga winter child, mahilig sila mag-isip ng plano. Baka ngayong plano nyo, mga sampung notebook na yan, punong-puno na. Pero baka isa dyan, wala pa na-execute. Okay? <laughs> so, don't worry, ilabas nyo pa rin yung mga book na yan, then maghanap yung mga tamang tao, sino if you feel in nyo doon sa mga ideas nyo para may produce siya as a, as a result. Okay? Kaya I call them visionaries. Okay? Alam niyo po ba, most of the mga tycoons are visionaries. Okay? Like Tony Tantakyong, or Ginny, is a Jollibee. Yan. He's a visionary. Okay? Uh, Jeff, Bo- Jeff, uh, Jeff Bezos of Amazon. Yeah. Also. Um, if I want to wrong, Hennessy. Also. Yeah, so these are also uh, mga people who are visionaries. They have a vision. They know. Uh, parang meron silang tiyatawag na dream big. Na may nakikita sila. Na ano yung mangyayari. Ganun. Kaya ang visionary eh. Sometimes they can see future daw. No, partly I can say, hindi naman sila mahuhula. No? But their intuition, ibang klase tumakbo yung intuition nila. Kasi the more less the movement, the more your intuition is go- growing higher. Kaya nga tignan mo sa meditation. Who can do the meditation? Can you do meditation while running? You cannot. Diba? You need to calm your body so you can grow your mind through meditation. When the body is calm, the mind is uh, working. Yun yung mga trabaho ng mga winter child. Okay? Kaya if you are a winter child, yun na, medyo isipin mo ngayon is ano yung mga magagandang dapat gawin. Okay? If you have some visionaries in your house, sometimes ask them, kahit yung mga bata, magugulat ka eh, yung mga bata. Sabi mo na, kunyari, ito ah, sino sa inyo may mga winter child na anak sa bahay natin, okay? Just ask them, how do you see itong Halloween? Anong gusto mo kasing, ano yung parang vision mo, gusto mo gawin parang party natin or something? Okay? Hindi sila magbibigay ng simple suggestion. Magbibigay sila ng isang one big picture suggestion. Okay? Or kung meron kayo mga, like, mga kapatid, okay? Or mga someone uh, close to you, try mo lang tignan. Pag nagtanong ka lang sa kanya ng isang, kahit wala siyang kaalam-alam about that topic. Okay? Kahit wala siyang kaalam-alam. Tapos sabi mo lang, bakit bigay ka lang mga idea or suggestion. Magbumugulat ka. Yung idea niya, suggestion niya, hindi idea and suggestion. Big picture of a certain suggestion. And that big picture, okay, kahit sabi mo wala siyang kaalam-alam dun, para maisip niya isang big picture, visionary ang person to. Nakikita niya, niya lahat. Diba? Parang kanyari, ako, pinapa, tinanong ko lang sa isang... Uh, tao na, baka pwede mo ba akong mabigyan ng suggestion sa ganitong bagay lang. Okay? Dapat suggestion, one sentence, tapos-tapos na. Diba? Pero mabigyan mo, bibigyan siya. Oh. Uh, alam mo, saan ka mag-start? Sino pupuntahan mo? Anong dapat mong gawin? That's it. Bigla ka magulat, lumalaki siya. Oh, teka lang, teka lang. Naisip mo na yan hanggang sa supplier? Oo. Oh, oh. E pinag-uusapan lang natin dito yung market pa lang. Oo. Oh, oh. Nakikita mo na kagad yung supplier? Nakikita mo na kagad yung mga ganitong bagay? Because they have the vision. Okay? Kaya, anong gagawin natin kung ang anak natin visionaries? Exploration. They need to explore more. So, wag po tayo magalit kung mahilig sila mag-explore ng iba-ibang bagay. wag po natin din magalit kung lagi sila nagta-travel, nagta-travel. Okay? <laughs> Guilty ba? <laughs> Ma winter child, mahilig mag-travel yan. <laughs> okay? Bakit? It's because for them, exploration is one part to extract their potentials. Although alam natin mag-assess yung travel, but siguro yun na lang yung pwede mong sabihin na, oh, basta ikaw mo bayad or what. Ikaw magamang ganun. Or maybe you can invest. Sige, mag-travel ka. Basta share mo sa akin yung ideas mo. That's also how we can do it, if ever. Diba? Parang mga ganun klase. So, in short, for them to have the time to explore, okay, and to accumulate more good ideas, that will help them, okay, to give us more visions, okay? More experienced vision. Hindi yung parang fantasy vision lang. Okay? Kasi pag wala, kung less yung experience nila, sometimes fantasy vision yung nakukuha natin. Okay? Uh, uh, baka natutunan na nila sa teleseri <laughs> or sa mga sa mga books lang or something. Diba? Pero because they have experience, they can give us much more precise 
uh, experience or reality visions, mga ganong klase. So, ito yung mga medyo maganda. Kaya na, alam mo po, yung sabi natin yung uh, winter child and summer child, they can work together. Okay? If winter child has the vision, then the summer child will have a vision. At napansin niyo po, most of our business, we need to have vision and mission. If your business doesn't have this, wala kayong motto about the vision and mission, then we have a problem. Your business will not be for long term. Most of the business na long term, they have vision and mission. Marami mga business na papansin ko, mas lalo na startup is, they have mission, they don't have visions. Okay? Or meron din mga ibang startup, they have vision, no mission, kaya hindi na start to negosyo. <laughs> okay? Sa so mga business na nag-start na, they have mission, but they don't have mission, vision. Okay? Vision has not, 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 not uh, if I'm not wrong, vision has nothing to do with about money. It's more on like uh, a goal. Okay? So, GYF, kaya sabi ko makinig kayo kasi I hope this are part can uh, teach you or maybe uh, uh, parang makatulong din sa atin. Okay? Kasi vision, di ba marap madala sa ating mga winning question natin is how to create a target goal. The target goal is not about your mission. The target goal is for visions. Okay? So, yun yung mga ilang things. Kaya kunyari, tayo bilang parents, nahirapan tayo sa vision din ng ating uh, family. At nagkataon, meron ka isang winter child na anak. Kahit kulang pa yung experience niyan, tanongin mo lang sa kanya, anong visions mo? Anong vision mo dito sa family natin? Anong vision mo na gusto mo next time? At mabulat ka kung bigla siya may binigay na suggestion. Try niyo pong kumapit ng doon sa suggestion niyo. Ikaw na bahala maglagay ng kulay. Pero at least that suggestion will bring you long enough. Okay? Um, far enough do sa mga goals mo. Diba baka magulat kayo, yung goal mo is nasa step 1, pero yung vision ng bata to nasa step 10. Okay? And that will inspire you already. Okay? Kaya every every child has their own potentials. I hope this topic as a feng shui parenting, okay, can help you all. It How it also helps me to understand my children, to understand myself. Okay? Even to understand my clients and also to understand other people because that's my job. No? Pero yun yung mga ilang things. But I hope this topic for tonight, you try to share this topic to all your friends, okay, to all the parents. Kasi if we learn how to do this, okay, all of us, we're creating, okay, the children of the future. Yun. Hindi natin sila binubuhay sa fantasya. Binubuhay natin sila sa reality using this kind of understanding. Okay? So, I hope it will help all of us here. <laughs> okay? Uh, so, yun ang mga ilang example, no? At least para to understand mga ganitong bagay. So, let's try to uh, check kung meron kayo mga other questions. Then, uh, then kasi almost the, napasa po tayo sa overtime na po tayo ng 11 o'clock. But don't worry if you love this topic and uh, Q&A, maybe for the next session natin, we will talk more about this. Okay? GYF? please uh, update me on this part, okay? <laughs> Very thankful ako for my GYF family, especially for Elaine Javier, kasi siya po yung nagsuggest na, why not magbigay ka rin ng konting topic about parenting? Tapos sabi ko, uy nga, no? Kasi yung tagal-tagal ko na gusto magkwento about parenting. Gustong-gusto uh, uh, ko ang gumawa ng feng shui parenting book, although I'm not totally a writer. Medyo hirap po talaga ako mag-write. So, maybe kung some of you um, very interested to work with me, to create some books or something, uh, maybe have some good ideas, uh, please let me know. Maybe we can work together. So, that's it. No? Kasi that's not my strength talaga. Okay, I love to develop system, but I'm not a good writer. <laughs> okay, so maybe uh, we can work together. Mga ganong klase. So, you let me know. Okay, so tingnan po natin yung mga questions nyo po. Although, if you have a question of uh, letting me repeat no, the description, uh, highly ad advise na panuri nyo po ulit yung video, if ever. Okay? So, much more gonna focus po ako dun sa mga uh, questions na po para sasagutin natin. Para pag repeat nyo po yung video, hindi po tayo redundant pa ulit-ulit. Kasi this video will be recorded. Okay? At nandito po yun sa FB Live ano po natin, uh, channel po natin. So, you can watch this one every time, anytime. Okay? Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Samba ako nag-start. Uh -huh. Oops. Right, okay. So, tignan po natin yung mga sagot lang po. Uh -huh. Oh, Rochelle RB, ah. Spring child both, 1 and 2. Mine is a uh, 2 and 3. <laughs> 2 and 3 ko, parehong March. Yeah. 
Kaya nandun na rin partly, ito rin minsan ang problema. Spring child to spring child, sometimes they get a lot of debate and conflict. Okay? Kasi they have a different style of how to build things. Ganun siya. Don't worry. Let the conflict do. Okay lang. Most important is don't say who is right, who is wrong. Kung hindi, to try to see the result first. Then kapag nakita na yung result, then they can, both of them can learn from something from that. Okay? Yun po yung I think the best. Huwag niyo po kagad sasabing mali kasi mawawalan sila ng confidence in building their system. Maybe ang pwede mong gawin dyan bilang isang parent, like for me, um, although for me, uh, hindi ko pa totally na napuput into practice because yung isang, isang March ko is medyo baby pa. Pero ang next time na plano ko, sige, you build your Lego, you build your Lego. Then bilang ako kasi is also a developer, ang gagawin ko is kukunin ko yung ideas ng dalawa tapos gagawa ko na mas more isa pa para for them to let them see that they can work also together. Pero it's very normal to have some conflicts or debate on that part. That's very normal. Kasi both builders, pagka both children belong to one um, to one category, sometimes debate happens. That's normal. That's normal. Okay? Kaya kung may mga iba sa inyo nagko-complain na, bakit maraming away sa amin? Hindi makasundo yung mga anak ko. No, no, no. That's very normal because they're just only trying their Uh, strength and weaknesses pa namin, di ba? Parang ganun. Parang kung baga ako, pag nakausap niyo ako, kunyari, not bi- bilang isang coach, syempre pag coach kasi is you're asking me uh, already, then you're also expecting a solution from me. That's a different, right? Pero if you ask me as bilang isang partner or business partner or relationship partner, di ba? Syempre, papakita mo yung strength mo, papakita ko rin yung strength ko. So talaga may magdarating yung time, magkakita talaga ng debate dyan, di ba? Most important lang is after our debate, how we can compromise and focus on the target goal. Tandaan niyo po, hindi po tayo nagde-debate para malaman kung sino tama, sino mali. Nagde-debate tayo para malaman natin kung ano yung tamang gagawin at ano yung mga maling dapat po natin iwasan. Okay? <laughs> Kasi pagka napunta po tayo sa arguments of knowing of who is right and who is wrong, then the relationship will be broke already. Okay? Kaya nga minsan sa mga anak natin, medyo iwasan po natin na, o ikaw tama ka, ikaw mali ka. Kasi pag masyado natin pinarindigan yun sa kanya, lagi papasok sa utak niya, eh, syempre, favorite mo to, kaya lagi mo siya sabi, tama, ako na lang, lagi yung mali, di ba? Hindi dapat ganun. Kasi pag ganun lang nangyari, may tendency na mag- mapapuput na yun sa program niya, na ako na lang lagi yung mali. Okay? Then, magkakaroon tayo ng um, miss parenting, ano, uh, parang kung baga maling parenting na, in a way. So, we need to be more careful on that. Okay? <clears throat> yeah, so... <laughs> Tawa talaga ako sa'yo dyan, ha? <laughs> Oo nga, <laughs> June. Nakalala ko lang ngayon. Okay, now, coach, yung bunso ko, lahat ng sinabi mo, tama. <laughs> Emma Barberan, okay? So, I hope, I hope, ha, it helps. I hope this topic natin for tonight will be a eye-opener for all of us who are parents and soon to be parents. Siyempre, lahat naman po tayo darating dyan. And also, understanding our parents. Do you know it's very important to understand our parents? Okay? Maybe some of us is... Uh, alam niyo po ba, magugulat kayo, meron ako isang session na nangyari, is uh, matanda na yung kausap ko, ah, matanda na. I think it's nasa mga 60 year old na siya. Okay? Then after niya nagpa-life reading sa akin, alam, nagulat ako kasi may kita mo jolly face naman siya. Pero after niya nagpa-life reading sa akin, biglang umiyak. Okay? Kasi on that part, mas naintindihan niya bakit ganun yung ginawa ng parents niya. Yung pala, meron siyang sama ng loob sa parents niya na hindi niya natanggal. Okay? Kasi I think it's more about like ano yata, parang one-sided favoritism niya, parang pakiramdam niya pero yung pala, it's part of that's part of the life niya and that's a part of the ugali din ng parents niya. Okay? Kaya medyo maganda rin ito kasi para to understand someone. Bakit pa siya ganyan? Example, boss natin. ba? Diba? Ay naku, itong boss ko, hindi naman kundi ganito, 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 ganito. Pero nung nalaman yung birthday ng boss mo, ay kaya pala to ganito eh, kasi sa commercial pala siya eh. Eh kaya pala hindi na ako makakop up kasi nasa winter child pala ako. So ano kayong best way para mag-compromise kami? That's my point. So that's also what we can do. So we treat our boss as our children. <laughs> okay? Tandaan nyo po, you have this knowledge. Sa lahat po mga nakikinig na yung gabi, kayo lang po yung may knowledge nito. Okay? Maybe kung shinare mo siya, magkakaroon din na knowledge yung tao. Pero as long that you are the one who hold this information and knowledge, then you are the one who need to adjust. Okay? You cannot force a person to adjust. Mas lalo na kung wala siyang alam about sa self niya. Paano siya mag-adjust? Okay? Tayo alam na natin. So we can easily adjust and we can control the person. Okay? 
Daya ba ng sikreto ko? <laughs> Hindi na siya sikret. Sinare ko na po siya sa inyo. FB Live pa, di ba? More people who can watch. Thousands of you. <laughs> Coach, yung anak ko po, is she's born. Oo, oh, oh, yan. Okay. March, spring child. That's a spring child po. Helen Chu, no? Uh, ha? Aning Jason, yan. Oh, may mga nag-ano. Okay. August, yan. <laughs> may lawyer na kayo sa bahay po. <laughs> right, okay. Rochelle RV. Okay, August, lawyer. Correct na correct, Coach. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Cassia Lopez, you can repeat the video if you want to understand more uh, about the sama anim uh, sa mga months like June, February. Okay, kasi if we will repeat that, uh makakapusin na po tayo sa time. Okay? Uh Nasser Saborendo also, no, may child. Yeah, don't worry po. Uh, and explain po natin yang one by one. Okay, malinaw po lahat yan, no? Yeah. John Adrian Matthew. <laughs> Oga. Originally na Based on the writing na sinasabi nila, 1982 is uh, 1996 is uh, still belong to the millennial. Uh, pero, ang di ko lang sure, di ko lang sure. Maybe dun sa mismong pag sinabi mo, yes, may mga millennial category, mga ganun. Pero for me, it's more about when you talk about millennial, is dun sa parenting side. When you talk about like ganun, wala siya sa year. Depende kasi siya sa klase ng magulang meron ka. Pagka yung magulang mo is traditional, mga ganun klase, very traditional, diba? then you you also have a traditional life. Okay? Kasi meron po mga 19, mga pinanganak ng 2000, at pero, uh, mga parents sina sobrang traditional, still, hindi mo sila makakonsider as millennial kasi yung ugali nila pang traditional. So, mas more nagiging same pa sila sa mga 80s in a way. So, kaya, pag when you talk about millennial, these are the people na meron silang parents na hindi na ganun ka strict, hindi na ganun ka traditional. Alam mo, very open. They're very open. You can speak for yourself parang mga ganun klase. Okay? So, yun mga ilang example na maybe on how I explain the about millennials kung tinawag natin. Kaya mga, mga millennials ko is mga late 90s to early 2000s, mga ganun. <laughs> yung, kung baga ba yung buhay na yung computer world. Di ba? Kasi pala siya mga millennial. Millennial is nag-start 2000. Eh. Di ba? Parang ganun. So, yun know, that's how I considered. Okay? Yeah. Although sa listahan talaga, yes, so kasama pa nga, oh, 84 ako eh. <laughs> winter child, winter child, yeah. Jan is summer child and shorty, yeah, partners in crime. <laughs> ah, okay, winter child pala si Jeric, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rosemary, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, Helen Chu, <laughs> excellent topic, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope this topic, uh, you learn a lot from tonight's, Uh, topic and then uh, I hope you can apply this, okay, train people uh, teach people, teach your kids uh, then tingnan niyo po kung how effective it is, if it's yes if it's yes, maybe uh, a simple message from you, then lagay niyo na po F, uh, hashtag FS Parenting 101 <laughs> sana po magawa ko nga po yung gusto gusto ko talaga, Arjun, gusto gusto ko gumawa talaga ng Feng Shui Parenting book para to guide people to understand their children Kasi pag nakipansin niyo po, marami mga parenting courses. Okay, there are different kinds of parenting courses. Merong parenting courses na ganito, merong ganito. Pero all of them just only teach their experience about their kids. Tama? Pero pagka ganun po mangyayari, magugulat ka, bakit dito sa coach na to, iba yung tinuro niya? Pagdating naman sa course na to, iba rin yung tinuro niya. Kasi ang tinuturo niya, yung based experience niya sa mga kids. Siya naman based din sa experience niya. Although, sa akin kasi, base ako sa experience ng lahat because of the birthday. And this is what makes it common. Much more easier. Kasi for me, hindi ako naniniwala na same system applies for everyone. Everyone has their own system na kung saan babagay. Di ba? Meron yan eh. Hindi po yung isang sistema para sa lahat. I think that, that doesn't work. Okay? Medyo, yung ganyan dahilan ko bakit nagkakaroon ng mga debate, quarrel, conflicts. Because lahat sila nilalagay mo sa isang box. Okay? <laughs> Ayan problema, iba-iba yung galing nila doon sa loob ng isang box, di ba? So, kailangan, hihiwalay mo sila, o oh, box ka ba ng winter child, box ka ba ng autumn child, tapos, tsaka mo, i-extract yung potential nila on how they can work together, di ba? I think, yun yung much more better. Okay? Coach, can I ask what's the different of, uh, okay, sorry, um, Nasser, uh, maybe next topic, we can explain that more about some of pressure base or wealth base, kasi uh, we will not talk more about the money here now. Okay, medyo na sa, na sa momentum po tayo of understanding the children first. Okay, we focus on the children muna. 
Okay, so yeah, thank you, thank you, Helen Chu. Okay, very interesting topic. Yeah, every Wong, yeah, I think na gusto niya po. Elaine uh, Javier, thank you also, thank you for uh, uh, suggesting this uh, topic, no? Uh, yan ang GYF, ha? magbibigay na kayo ng topic minsan para may topic ako makukwento. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. It's very helpful for us parents, yes. Urgently, yeah. It helps me also more. Okay, uh, Simonet Sambulan, hello. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you also. Simulat Simbulan, I think um, I think may message ko yata kayo. Kayo po yata, kayo rin ba si Ting Simbulan? Oo, kasi um, last uh, kailan ba yun? Last Tuesday, kung naalala niyo po, wala po kung uh, Tuesday forecasting night, because last Tuesday uh, meron kami private session Zoom para sa Mooncake Dice Game. Yun po yung pinangako ko po for the um, September 17 to October 16, lahat po ng mga pinurchase sa amin through online or even sa shop po, okay, uh, they are also entitled, for certain price, they are entitled for some tickets para to join the game. Okay, so most of them are becomes a uh, uh, winner, meron sila mga prizes, mga ganong prizes. So, uh, diba, diba, may message ako, baka kung kayo po yun, no? magte-text ako kasi may iniwan pong number dun sa akin. No? So, Kaya ginagawa ko po is binibigay ko po lahat yung mga prices. Pinapadala ko nung po siya unti-unti. Okay? Uh, some of it is also from iba-ibang ano, iba-ibang province yan. So, kailangan ko rin padala through LDC if ever. Although, yung pakiusap ko lang dun is uh, just take a picture with your charms and then uh, put the hashtag of the uh, FS Nice Game. No? So, ganun po. So, very thankful. Thank you talaga sa mga nakapag-join po doon sa Munti. Sana po doon sa mga hindi po nakapag-join next time po makapag-join po kayo. May experience nyo po. Masaya po yung Munti Nice Game. You uh, earn a lot of different kinds of prizes. Wala pong talo. Kahit ano buto ng dice meron kang makukuha charm. <laughs> Ang tanong lang doon is gano'n ko taas yung lock natin para makuha mo yung certain prices. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, then then Ortiz. Yeah. May uh, daughter Autumn kaya pala mag-discuss. Grabe. <laughs> okay. Lawyer to lawyer ba? <laughs> And my youngest is November. Kaya medyo tamad. Okay. Yes. Pero at least alam na natin. Tamad lang katawan pero hindi tamad yung isip. So, yun yung itatrain natin ito try natin. Although, although, I'm not saying that you need to accept kada the truth, ha? Siyempre, pag winter child yan, kailangan kahit pa paano may movement. Kasi pag walang movement yan, delikado. Like, mas lalo na mga winter child na babae. Pag winter child na babae, um, very prone to become uh, anemic or low blood. And then, winter child na lalaki naman, they're very prone to become obese. Okay? So, we need to be more careful on this. Okay? In terms of health. Yun lang po yung medyo babandian na. Kaya, huwag rin natin kagad i-accept lang na tamad na yung katawan nila. Okay? So, kailangan din nila ng physical exercise. I think still, the balance diet is very important. Not only for winter child, but all, all category sa mga anak natin. Mas lalo na puro tayo study from home now. And also sa mga work from home. <laughs> okay? Alam po natin, work from home, we got a lot more time the more na mas wala tayong time to do exercise. Okay? Huwag po natin gamitin rason, rason yun. Although yan po yung lagi kong rason sa asawa ko, pero na, na, nasisipa po ko every morning kung hindi ko po ginawa yun. So that's why I just need kahit paano to do simple 50 push-ups, uh, 50 sit-ups. <laughs> Meron siyang ginawang calendar. <laughs> okay, sige, sundin ko lang yun. Okay, yun lang. Kailangan ko lang maging maayos na follower. Okay? Kaya sabi ko, ah, okay, kahit ano palang category child ako, pagka terror si wife ko <laughs> no choice just to follow the joke <laughs> di naman nanonood si wife <laughs> coach may seven multiple intelligence para makita kung nasaan ang potential ng isang bata linguistic logical spatial musical interpersonal interpersonal bodily kinesthetic yeah i think um Maris Garcia, no? I think yes, maraming mga klase, mga ganong klase. But depends kasi sa mga test na nakukuha nila. Example, when you talk about logical, okay? Logical is um, much more of uh, they love to debate, right? Might, maybe, okay? So kapag sinabi mo debate yan, then papasok yan dito sa mga debate, which is itong mga autumn child, tama? So maybe sila mas mo magaling in terms of sa mga logical, okay? But that doesn't mean na si winter child, hindi siya magiging logical. That doesn't mean spring child cannot be logical. Okay? So for me, this test, the multiple intelligence test, is another category. Okay? Itong function parenting natin is another category, and this will be another category. Okay? Bakit? Kasi um, this one, it tells how the child is. This one tells how is their energy, their potential energies. Okay? So yun ang kakaiba lang. Okay? So, when we talk about kinetic, lahat naman sila kinetic. 
lahat naman sila gumagalaw, may actions. Okay? Pero pag inisip po isa, number one, sino ba pinaka the best at mag-connect? Siyempre, endurance test. Or baka yung masyado magalaw. Maybe the summer child. Kasi the summer child, mas magalaw sila. But that doesn't mean na hindi gagalaw ang autumn child. Mga autumn child, marami dyan, mga nagiging bodybuilders. Okay? So every each of them also changes. Okay? Nagbabago rin yung part na yun. May mga winter child, mahilig sa sports. We cannot say, kahit sabi mo tatamad-tamad sila, pero mahilig sila sa sports. Depende, depende. Okay? So that's why for me, uh, the seven multiple intelligence that you're saying, it's a different kinds of tests. Okay? And also sa atin, may iba ring tests. Example, um, sino sa inyo mga nakapag-test din in terms of like sa company, yung about introvert and extrovert? They have a different kinds of uh, description about introvert, extrovert. And me, pagdating sa feng shui reading, iba rin ang definition ko ng introvert and extrovert. Okay? Magulat kayo, kahit yung mga best speaker that can talk to thousands of people, they are introvert people. Maniwala po kayo, I'm also an introvert person. <laughs> Di ba magulat kayo, I'm talking to different people, I go to media, uh, na-interview po ko sa media, I can talk with different kinds of um, na, mga events, I talk to like two to three hundred people, okay, mga ganong klase. Still, I can talk to them, okay. Walang problema. Kahit sa mga mall, minsan, pag na-invite ako, nagbibigay ako ng salita. I talk to different kinds of people, hundreds of people. Kaya. Bakit? Okay? Pero still, I'm an introvert. Okay? Kaya may iba ang meaning ng introvert, extrovert. Pagdating sa yung mga tests, sa psychological tests, at iba rin yung introvert, extrovert natin pagdating dito sa feng shui uh, tests in terms of elements. Okay? Kaya nga pag nagpa-life reading po kayo, dun yung mas mga maintindihan kung nasaan talaga yung strength. Okay? Yun. Okay, so, by the way, coach, rat and horse are kids. Yeah, no problem. Okay lang po. Don't, don't think about clashes. Like ako, I'm here of the rat, and ako, horse. Diba? Pag uh, inisip nyo kasi yung word na clash, parang hindi na natin pwede sabihin itatakwil natin. So, diba? Kaya may iba nakakatawa nga eh. Sabi, may, may mga iba akong kaibigan na feng shui consultant. Ano, yung masyadong bookish. And then sinabihan ako, joke, ba't ka nanganak ng isang horse? Eh, diba year of the rat ka? Sabi ko, mga walang hiyak kayo. Hindi ako nanganak ng horse, nanganak ako baba, batang babae. <laughs> Di ba? Iba yung kabayo. <laughs> Ito is year of the horse lang. Okay? Hindi ako nanganak ng kabayo. Nanganak ako tao pa rin. Okay? That means it's just an energy. It's just that uh, part of the energy. And it depends on us how we can create, control the energy. Okay? Saan part pwede mag-clash ang rat at horse? At ano yung mga dapat hindi ko tatamahan? So ngayon, alam ko ang horse, gusto nila is to be appreciated, to be recognized. So, just, I need to be assured na lagi kong pinoprovide yun to them. Ganun siya. So ngayon, ang training mo lang doon sa rat ng horse mong anak is, uh, dapat si rat, marunong lang siya mag-appreciate sa trabaho ng horse. Okay? At si horse naman, dapat huwag niya siya masyadong dinadamdam lahat ng sinasabi ng rat. Kasi mga rat kasi medyo... Grabe mang sapul. <laughs> okay? Mga rat people, mabilis mang sapul. Maggrabe mang sapul. Okay? So, yun lang. Kaya huwag niyang damdamin lang. Kasi pag dinamdam ng horse yun, doon yung mag-aaway ang horse and rat. Yun dahilan ko bakit sila nagka-clash. Okay? Maybe that's a good topic. Next time, siguro, pwede lang rin pag-usapan about why clashes are called clashes. Okay? <laughs> why the animal sign clashes are called clashes. But that doesn't mean na pag nagsama sila, it's bad luck. Okay? So, we need to understand that also. Alright. Okay. So, bakit uh, Nasser? Yeah. Pero, thank you. Alam ko na bakit ngayon yung parents ko kahit millennial ako. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Si Monette Simulan, Winter Sun. Yeah. Uh, ko po, si Kit. Coach, summer naman po ako. That, that's good. Yes. Because sabi ko nga, great winter and summer, you may belong to different kind of the energy. That's totally different energy, but still, you can work together. Hindi niyo po pwede sabihin na, oh, water and fire, magkaawa yan. Totally gugunaw yung mundo niyan. No, no, no. Bakit? Hindi kayo makapagpakulo ng tubig pag walang apoy. They need to work together. Okay? We have a different, maybe we have a total different um, characteristic or personality. But still, meron po mga part kung saan we can extract or how to compromise each other. Okay? Yun po yung hinahanap natin. The secret of feng shui is not to tell how bad luck you are or how to good be good luck you are. Kung hindi, the secret of feng shui is to help you, to guide you para to extract the good luck potentials and maiwasan natin yung bad luck potentials. Okay? Yun lang po siya. So I hope everyone learns from tonight. Nako, medyo 
Sobrang haba na po yung topic natin sa 153, almost two hours. No? So I hope um, the topic for tonight opens a lot of your minds, okay? Please don't forget to like and share the page and share this video to some of your friends who are parents also, uh, like me, okay? Tayo mga talagang mahilig, okay? Hindi <laughs> naman mahilig gumawa ng bata, but they, mahilig sa mga bata, okay? So I hope uh, this video can help more people. Okay, so and also uh, by sharing, okay, sharing positivity also, you're also helping other people to be inspired, okay, to be motivated and practicing the secret of feng shui also, okay. So I hope this one uh, opens a lot of our minds, okay. So huwag na po kalimutan, try to apply this, okay, help other people, tapos tignan niyo po, balikan niyo po ko, sabihan niyo po on how it works, okay. So thank you guys and see you again to our next FB Live session. So don't forget to like and share the page. Huh? Okay, thank you, thank you everyone and good night. This is your coach Johnson Chua saying goodbye, God bless and always stay safe. Bye-bye.